Thomas, you have one minute. Cause on a Friday night, me have to tune in to Real Talk on Stars 96 FM. Me and you have questions about love, birds and the bees. Not to mention the ticks and the fleas. So you try tune in on a Friday night between 9 and 12 for Real Talk. At a show we discuss everything real and nothing ID. Only on Styles FM. Good night, good night to all you wonderful listeners out there in Radio Land. It's a pleasure for me to be in studio to work with you tonight to entertain and to educate. Yes, and to, of course, put that little smile on your face. Yeah. So we're glad to be here with you for another exciting real talk and tonight i have as my co-host one more time double or nothing i have of course mr smooth looking very smooth tonight prestige i want to say good night good night to all the listening audience i'm here and it's a Mm -hmm. rainy night in Jamaica. In Jamaica, not Georgia. <laughs> right, yeah. right, You know right. that song? Yes, I love that song. Yeah. yeah. Oh. How you yeah. doing? I yeah. am not bad. I like the lipstick you're wearing. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Eh? Thank you, thank you. Mm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let them, let them, you know? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Use them imagination mm-hmm. right there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So nice. Lips tonight. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm fine. I'm, I'm in good spirit. I, I try my best to, to stay mm-hmm. in good spirit. Even when my spirit is broken. Yeah. Or something. Some way, some other devil tries to get me off my course, my happy course. Okay. I try my best to yeah. get back. And radio is one of those places where you just forget everything and mm-hmm. all the negatives and you don't focus on which is low cost for example you, you know what i notice and just focus on your listeners yes that's yes. true but you know what i notice yes mm-hmm. only when i'm working alongside you uh-huh. i realize the type of outfit you wear <clears throat> on a friday night yes yeah looking so sexy oh yeah why okay. you, oh daddy rude a married man and that's why you, you, you cook up yourself, so we did the box him. <laughs> you know, I just yeah, I do I do comfort I do comfortable. Yeah. So so you're whatever, more comfortable, comfortable. When, when when you're working with me to 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 dress like this. I dress like this all the time, pretty much. No. Yes, man. Ask my engineer. By the way, our engineer tonight is Cassidy. Mm-hmm. Cassidy, me always drawn some nicest looking some. Mm-hmm. Ish, 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 ish. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> I leave me alone, Cassidy. <laughs> I like last week. Wow. Oh, oh, what was I making last and week? And if you send out those pictures. Oh, oh, oh yeah. pics, right? We yeah. did some nice pics together. Yeah. yeah. And if you send them yeah, out. Yeah, but I'm, I'm, a, I'm a girl of comfort mm. and style. Mm. I love style, of yes. course. I can see Literally that. style mm-hmm. and styles. Yeah. So I'm a, I think I'm a born stylzer, naturally. Mm-hmm. Yes. It's no mm. one damn with style. Looking nice. Them. Well, thank you, sir. Mm-hmm. Got, yeah, my hair, got my hair did today. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Classical touch. Nice. Yeah. Where they Matto located? gave me a classical touch indeed. So big up the matter. Yeah. Da, da, <laughs> da, da, da. My style is for years now. Yeah. Right. Mm. So I'm not looking too bad. Thank you, sir. Yeah, you're welcome. Thank you. And you mm. yourself looking very smooth. Thank you very much. I love your popping mm. fuchsia, almost fuchsia looking shirt. That's the name of the color. Yeah. Almost a fuchsia or... Um, yeah. yeah, coral, corally, yeah. not fuchsia. Yeah. It's more coral shirt and khaki. Nice and ooh, Lacoste um sneakers. Ooh, sh- ooh. brother, you're looking fine. A fine looking brother I, in I the bar- studio beside me, ladies. I borrow my birthday. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. This is great to have you on board. We run the show from now until twelve on the midnight. Myself and the very charismatic. Prestige. All right. So, of course, we're going to be giving you those um, social media pages that you can hook us up on. And, of course, if you want to see tonight's show live and direct, you can check out Facebook at Styles FM 96.1. Go to the fan page and you will be able to leave your comments or so on that site. All right. If you do Twitter, you can go to Styles FM 961. 
check us out at styles fm 961 that's for the twitter fans and for those who are the instagrammers you can go to you can follow us at styles fm just styles fm all right and youtube you can check out styles fm radio feel free to go on youtube and you can see tonight's well tonight's show we posted later on and of course there are previously held shows that you can watch just click on one that looks interesting to you if you like who you see on whether it's lady cleo whether it's daddy rule whether it's oh prestige and shelly all right you just click on and watch one of those shows and enjoy the show all right so that's for our social media people and of course we're going to be telling you those numbers if you're in the usa uk or canada on the go and brother prestige will tell you those numbers for the usa first 712-832-2772. That's air code 712-832-2772 for the United States. For the UK, 033-0010-3322. That's 033-0010-3322. Two. All right. And if it is that you want to send us a message tonight, you want to send us a WhatsApp message or you want to send us a regular SMS message, or if you want to call us from the local connection, you need to check oh. out 876 453 four. That's it locally. Um, oh. 876 453 1444. Right? And if you're overseas and, you know, you want to call in tonight, tonight's show, mm -hmm. that number is 954-338-7973. That's 954-338-7973. All right, we left off the Canada number? Yeah. Okay. The Canada number is? Prestige? <laughs> oh, 647-957-9632. That's 647 Nine five seven nine six three seven. All right. So there you have the on the on the go numbers. If you want to listen in while you're on the go. All right. Um, just a little bit of so we got got the in house matters out of the way. Just a little sad note. Um, condolence. We wish to express the Stars of M family wishes to express our deepest condolence to the Holgate family. You know. Um, sudden passing mm -hmm. and it's never never easy when a loved one goes let yeah. alone when they go so suddenly so we want to express our deepest and sincerest condolences um to the family the bereaved family at, the, at this time uh, mrs olgate a very um congenial and you know bubbly exciting lady i know she's going through a rough time right now and her her kids and his kids Tina, I know Tina personally. Um, the Lord, the prayers are up for you guys, and the, may the peace of God be with you all at this particular time. To all those who did business with him there on, what's that street name? Blake, Blake Street. Blake Street in Port Antonio. Yeah. A little hardware place there. You can also get your air products and stuff at, at, on the other side. You know, um, real quiet, easygoing gentleman um he was also a justice of the peace yeah. and um i'm sure he will be dearly missed by his family friends uh well wishers and um customers all right um just want to say however shout out to fruity uh we called um, the ladies call him fruity right there in port antonio by texaco poppy popcorn yeah not the artist but of course popcorn he just sells fruits right there in port antonio okay right at texaco right at texaco you cannot okay. miss him always up and ready and not only does he sell fruits but he's always just helping out some persons who come by need a seat tired the sun hot mm -hmm. you rest and you relax a little bit you want some fruits mm -hmm. you know if you're mm -hmm. passing by i've seen him just give away fruit just mm -hmm. here hold a fruit now hold mm -hmm. a pine now yeah man so a real real genuine kind of person a friend of mine so big up yourself fruity and of course wife is further down in the town you yeah, know nearer to the front to the library so big ups to the fruit persons you know the fruit is the healthiest way 
keep your skin nice and clean and pretty. It's no wonder. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, yeah, and yours too, I can see that. I'm Cassidy one too, yeah. So all you people out there who are not eating many fruits, start getting your fruits on, of course. All right? And of course, to my manga man. I have a man for mangas, you know, he's a manga man. I'm, I'm his second wife, and I met his first wife today for the first time. So where are you from? You know, I'm not sure where Manga Man come from, but he's mm. on Blake Street too, you know? Mm. I'm like a red car. Mm. He sells us about every fruit you can think of. Then how comes in, in, in Mangos. Come, how comes in, become your second, your second... Um, me I'm, me I'm, no, I'm second wife. Wife, and you don't know where you come from. first wife. But you don't know where you come I'm, from. I'm the second one, the first one, know where you come from, the first one, live with him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, of course, he has breadfruit, yeah. bags of coal, all them, something mm. you can get right there, man, from Mango Man. Yeah. Everybody call him Mango so where, Man. So, where Mango Man located? Kanjin. Right on Blake Street, too, man. Blake Street? Yes, man. Eh? Star Apple, Star Apple, Sweet Sap. Oh. So, then I'll have him so a sap to all these things. Yeah, okay. man. Real yeah. people, them. Some yeah. real people I'm telling you about. So, big ups to Manga Man and Wifey and Popcorn, Fruity and Wifey as well. Listening to Styles FM. Listening to Styles FM right now. I'm sure of it. So, there you have it. And of course, to all our friends over there who call in every night, texting every night. Yeah? Big ups to you. And those who don't call in every night and you're in foreign land, big you up every time, same way. Yeah. And to all our Portlanders, you know, we cannot, cannot, cannot go without saying to the Portlanders, the Yardies, you are the real diehard Yardies and you're here and you're tuning and you're locked in, right? To stars. Some of them radio stuck literally on stars. The, the radio, car radio stuck on stars. So big ups to all the people who support and love Styles FM and trying, you know, working with Styles to see it grow from strength to strength. Support your uh, own, you can never go wrong. Yeah, and I want to shout out to um, my family up there in um, Raya Grande. Mm -hmm. Yeah, up there in Windsor. You know, like the Shirley family and, and the Lindsay family. You know, my brother Shirley, big up a save every time, Father Shirley. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man, I am the reason today. And P. Big up yourself every time, Mr. Roberts. All right. Of course. Yeah, and man. Juki, one love to you and um, to all the family and friends over there in St. Thomas. Janet, I know she's listening right now and all the other family members up there in Whitehall, St. Thomas, and all the other supporters from all across the length and breadth of St. Thomas, mm. St. Anne, St. Mary, Portland, and all the people we met at Pan. Pan 2018 mm -hmm. to all the winners, congratulations to you, and of course, big ups to the people who jerk the pork. <laughs> yes, yeah. man, the pork tastes good, man. I lie, yeah, yes, man, really nice. I think it's copper, copper wood. Nice pork. I didn't get all the names, but Shell's got the names. So big ups to you guys, really good jerking, and to all the persons who came out to support the pan. 2018 competition. Um, I hope that all Portlanders, congrats to all the other par the other um, competitors from the other parish parishes in Region One. Mm -hmm. But of course, may the best person win and congrats again and all the best to the Portlanders who came out on top. All right, big up on yourself mm -hmm. every time. It's a competition that traveling over the, um, to the island, right? Yes. So you have yeah. Region Two. Mm -hmm. I don't remember the date for Region Two, but. That will be, I guess, the other parishes. Yeah. Um, so about nine or so parishes were in Region 1, okay. you know, um, including our parish, all the Eastern End, Trelawney, and so on, right? So the other half now will be having their thing um, coming up. And then the 28th, I think, of October mm -hmm. is the finals at the National Stadium. So we hope that Portland comes out on top of that one. And if Portland not going to take it, is it a St. Mary? Our St. Thomas, our St. Anne. Yeah, we're, we're, we're going to leave it right now. So, so <laughs> it, it, it's not only chicken alone? The, the, yeah, man, the, the jerk yeah. chicken. It's, just it's chicken. not only chicken, just chicken? Yes, from what I know. Yeah. Yes, chicken. And they, I think they do a sauce that goes with it. Yeah. You can do a, they had a so sauce the, competition oh, too. Oh, 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 they did the, the, the judging. Because you know, they don't have to eliminate. Um, yeah, man, I guess yeah. they have persons who probably. I don't know if you call them professional tasters. Yeah, so they did that already. Yeah, man, they did Eliminate that. They and, did and that. Yeah, man. Qualify. And the very night, yeah. on the very night, they selected some per persons were selected who 
came second in whatever category and yeah. whatever and first and so on. They got them them check, them big nice pretty check. Oh, oh, and oh, so oh. and then they'll be selecting now selecting now from that to yeah. know who will go to the the, the final. finals, right? Yeah. So it's gonna be an exciting competition. Oh, okay. I think I wanna try and make the finals in um Kingston. Mm -hmm. All right, so congrats again. Um, big ups to those who are on the text line already, the WhatsApp line already. We see Juliet Gracie from Atlanta, Georgia. Is it Stone Mountain, Gracie? Yeah, Stone Mountain, yeah. Bunny in Port Moran, Lisa in Atlanta, my place too. And Camille, Long Road, big ups to you. Um, Miss Juliet um, from Nuts River Road in St. Thomas. All right, so tonight... We have a Vox Pop. Yeah. And before I even go to the Vox Pop, another condolence. Free your Pop Bun. I hate to say it, but Monday is work. I don't want to hear that. <laughs> Please. I don't want to hear that. It's not Sandra, Gracie. It's Lady Cleo and Prestige tonight. I sound like Sandra. But it's not Sandra. I sound like it's um, Shelly. Mm. Uh, I tell you, but it's not Shelly. It's Chongy. I sound like her. I sound like everybody, apparently. <laughs> All right, so, um, yes, yeah, school opens on Monday, reopens on Monday, mm. and of course, we say, because to all the kids, remember now, change is inevitable. You got to change your attitude, you got to change your behavior. Learning is of utmost importance when you go to school. Yes, you're playing and you have fun, but the, the whole idea of school is to really get yourself an education, and that is also your responsibility, not just the teachers or the parents, but your responsibility as well. All right, and it's, of course, now 9.31. The time is brought to us by VJ Printing Services, and Real Talk is sponsored by Native Audio Stage and Lighting. Don't go anywhere. We soon come. Remember Styles FM on social media. View us on YouTube at Styles FM Radio. Follow us on Instagram at Styles FM. Like us on Twitter at Styles FM 961. Become a fan on Facebook. Styles FM 96.1 Architects, draftsmen and surveyors get your drawings printed in high quality professional standards we can satisfy your printing needs whether it is for presentation to your clients or for submitting building and subdivision application make it VJ Printing Services whether drawing by hand or with computer aided softwares we will plot your negatives and print the copies as you need we do high quality white paper printing that is water resistant and never fades unlike traditional blueprint for more information, call VJ Printing at 893-2266. This is Jati, the Reggae Ambassador. Join me this and every Saturday from 1 p.m. to 5 p.m. Right here in Styles FM 961, 96.5, 96.7 for the Tony Lauren Show in style on style. We're going to eat you off that G spot at 3 o'clock. We've got the collector's edition with Twin Spin. Inside Music Biz with Teddy Ledley. Nuff, nuff, niceness. Right here in Styles FM. This is every Saturday from 1 p.m. until 5 p.m. You got it? Do you have or are you seeking a place to rent? Seeking employment or have a job vacancy? Are you selling a car or having a garage sale? Then come see us. Let Styles do the advertising for you and you'll be on your way in no time. Contact us at 876-286-9216 or 439-5160. Advertising Style. Advertise with Styles. Don't miss the adrenaline rush with the musical ingenious digital team. Saturdays, right here on Styles FM from 4 to 8 p.m. Remember the uprising artists and new music segment from 5 p.m. to 6 p.m. Also, mix journal hour from 6 to 7 p.m. And the party hour from 7 to 8 p.m. Come, Styles FM. Digital tea. Our brain. Look, huh? 
native audio stage and lighting. Now offering stage, lighting and trust systems for your small and medium sized events. Whether it's a stage show, concert, drama play, wedding, street party or club setting, you name it, we'll bring it to life. Call us at 871-5212 or 844-6531. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, a sponsor of In the Know of the Law with Sergeant Del Rose Green and also Real Talk with Lady Cleo and Daddy Rude. Welcome back to Real Talk and tonight filling in for Daddy Rude is Prestige. All right, with yours truly, Lady Cleo. All right, so tonight we do have a Vox Pop. Uh, very interesting one, might I say. Yeah, very, very, very interesting. And I had persons who normally send me one. I don't know why they shied away tonight from sending me some. But I guess I can understand sometimes. Maybe they're busy or the topic just away for them so they don't want to go there. You know that there are some persons who don't really want to touch certain topics. Yeah. For whatever reason. But nevertheless, we really appreciate the, the Vox Poppers who gave their responses. Whether you give it this week or last week or whenever, we really appreciate it. All right? All right, so here goes for tonight's show. When you're in a relationship, it is said that your partner should also be your very best friend and ally. Oh, everything that you do, your best friend must be there beside you. All right, your, best friend, your, your, your partner must know pretty much everything, the best friend. Yeah, your partner in crime, yeah. What's your view about friends becoming lovers? Friends become lovers. Daytime friends and nighttime lovers. Mm -hmm. hey, hey. Do you believe that people can truly be friends, but are intimate when required, and there's no emotional connection beyond that of friends? <laughs> Do you believe that people can truly be friends, but are intimate? when required and there's no emotional connection beyond that of friends oh my god so you and i are friends prestige just friends yeah. nothing intimate we're just friends mm -hmm. but it is that we uh but we are intimate when required and there's no emotional connection is that possible so me and you're just friend mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. And when the, when the need arises, you mm. and I become emotionally involved. Mm. And then we just go back to friend after that. No, sir. That can't go on. It can't go on? No, sir. It's not possible? No, sir. What do you mean no? Mm, 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 but there are people who will mm, tell you it's possible. Mm, mm. I buy me, I buy something. <laughs> Here's the next. Before we down. go into it, before we go into it, guys, let's look at <laughs> the next part of this. If you discover that your partner and his or her friend had a one-off intimate encounter how would you feel about their friendship presently so prestige your lady mm -hmm. yeah yeah your lady that's your with and you love her dearly yeah yeah probably are living together having a good relationship and you go find out say this sister in here mm -hmm. that i take as my preps as yeah. that would say yeah she has a friend who they chit chat all the time, talk on the phone and relate to each other and them hours ago. So that's not even go together with other friends. And he just have it say, Is her friend? She ha she was her friend before she even knew me. And so you find out, you find out now that um him and she, and she dance. did a, a dance. dance. If everyone wanna have something, mm. you know, something, something did go on. Would you be okay with their friendship now? They are still friends, you know? Mm -hmm. And years ago, probably all before you, mm -hmm. so all the thing did go on, and them just decided, it's not going to really work out, you know, because mm -hmm. I'm a friend, you know, and mm -hmm. right now I'm with prestige, so, mm -hmm. you know, nothing, me now, we're not going to go road there. Mm -hmm. How would you feel about your friendship now? Would you be insecure? Would you be jealous? Would you be upset? It was before you, my youth. You ever feel no way? No, me not going to feel... Let me tell you, doubt are going in the back of my mind. But what? What make? Eh? What make? Doubt are going in the back of my mind. How much can doubt, sir? It's going in the back of my mind. For real. <laughs> may I tell you the truth? <laughs> may I tell you the truth? Tell me why. Because. Tell me why. First thing, 
when me and I start talk, right? Mm-hmm. When we just meet and me and I talk, she usually I tell me about this guy before. Yeah, but she never tell you everything. Then, everything. then if she tell me everything, yeah, I, I ask I, you. Re, re, remember the, the first we, part. Do, remember you, the first part. Yeah, when right? you are in a relationship, it is said that your partner should also be your best friend. But, All right. But you did so, say no. So, so you, you didn't put me as like you said. What a tall my woman can't be my best friend. Well, well, we we'll get back to that. We we'll get back to that part. Yes. Yeah, because we the don't have the, the, the lower part. The tail. Yeah. So we we'll get. We not have no butter. We not deal with butter around here. Who's gonna have a fit? No, we don't deal with that. We are dealing with the lower part. Okay, sir. Yeah. Of the the the. the Spectrum. Yes. All right. Mm-hmm. May I just start date? All right? And she tell me about this young man. She used to date before. Mm-hmm. And she had him and a friend no more. But she tell me all these nice things where they used to do before and yes, the dancing nice and all them kind of things. Right? You get me? I say, I mean, I say what? And then now, me and I nice. become intimate, right? Mm-hmm. And my girlfriend, right? Mm-hmm. And she and this guy still have that connection. I go and see way. And she will tell me, say, no, me and Tony are just good friend. You know, them kind of friend, uh, Louis, yeah, me can just throw him off like that and rim. Me not go feel have good. Understanding. Me not go feel. Me not busy, but me have an understanding too. <laughs> so me not go feel good. <laughs> you get me? I say. <laughs> What's your understanding? Fee, <laughs> me, for me, they run on the road on this and my brain say, you know, so me see your wife around this and Juna still don't have a drink. I say, what? I now go feel good for that. Tell me why. You did not see, see them in a compromising position. Listen up, man. Mm-hmm. Things can spark up the same way. You say all fire stick? Yes. But it says... Sometimes, sometimes, no. all fire stick. But some fire you stick wet up and, and can't catch back. I tell you about me and oh. my people. Oh. You get me, I say? Yeah. <laughs> I tell you. So, the answer is, Pam, well, eh? well. Yeah? I it's like a hard, clear. It's going to You want, you, me are you there? Mm-hmm. Right? May I deal right now? Mm-hmm. Right? Come I put the question to you. Mm-hmm. May I deal? Mm-hmm. And you find out, right? Come explain to you now and tell you all those things where me and my ex used to go on with and mm-hmm. stuff like that. You see me I say? It's a big difference if you have you together. We're not getting at the party. Yes. But no kids together, right? And me used to lie down in the bed with you and I explain to you. Because you have question me and I say, babe, you sure you want to hear? And you say, yeah. Let us just share, you know. We are, we, we, we partners. We don't need to hide anything. That was the past. You know, so we can talk about it and then after mm-hmm. we talk about it now, we don't have to talk about it again. You get me? Mm-hmm. Beverly is a very nice, sexy young lady. Mm-hmm. You get me? I say, mm-hmm. sexy. And it all go to your mind and I say, boy, I'm not think prestige and a girl that stop talking. You know? mm-hmm. Or stop dance. Or low, him tell me. You get me? Because them too close. Mm-hmm. You know, see, them too close. Mm-hmm. He's coming home from work and he must tell me, say, boy, I'm going to stop and have a drink with Beverly. Mm-hmm. Yeah? You ever feel comfortable with that? Oh, no. I me, me, me feel uncomfortable less than that much. Yes. Yeah. You're not yes. going to feel comfortable Very with that? Very uncomfortable. Yeah. Very uncomfortable. Let bygones be bygones. You cut it off there. I mean, I want you nothing about it and you just cut it off. You I and him. Can... friend too? Do they friend me attack? Do they friend me attack? I will, I yeah. I will. Cut off that. I don't want to go through them kind of stress in my life. Because I have doubt. Mm-hmm. You see what I say? Regardless of the matter of the fact how I trust you, I mm-hmm. still like have doubt in the back of my mind. Because I know say. But some people say it's paranoia. You're paranoid. Me? Yes, I'm a paranoid. You better, better be tell me I'm mad then. <laughs> eh? Same thing, really. Yeah. You're imagining things. Yeah. You know? Not no go on. So we are worried about. No, 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 no. Give me can't play man. Cut it off. Yeah, your ex done in done. Me no want you anymore. Have no drink nowhere. But it wasn't your, no ex. It was just a friend. Uh, a, your a friend where you. You ain't used to dance. You ain't used to dance before. But what no? Mm. But one little time dance. One dance. One no more. Digga, 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 so, so what would be the reason why dancing never go on again the second time or a third time? Maybe you never because. Nice? Maybe because you never feel him like that. Maybe, maybe she or he, or he never feel the other mm. person, mm-hmm. or they might have had somebody else, mm-hmm. and it would have been brought complications, mm-hmm. or it just never 
Click. Click. Yeah. The jelly never go on. Yeah. Never set. Uh-huh. Like when you put jelly in a free fridge and never, never, never make goods mm-hmm. in a set properly. Mm-hmm. Yes, yeah, so baby just never work out that way. You know? yeah. And sometimes probably th- things just happen where never even plan for that thing to happen between the other person there. And it go happen. Because yeah. I have heard persons say mm-hmm. that. Yeah. Even when I was discussing this topic, I had a fr- I have a friend who said to me that, you know, this and this happened already. And we never, we never even planned for it. It just happened with the person. But then you realize that boy, I don't think I wanna go down that road there with this person. And I'm a friend. So I don't think there's of others of over for go with it. So we cut it off. But the friendship was intact. Mm-hmm. They both had an understanding that this is probably not where we should be going with this. You're with somebody, I'm with somebody, you know, or you know that person. Me and you grew up like brother and sister, so this shouldn't really have happened. So there, there are so many variables that could have caused the persons not to continue down that road. Mm-hmm. And then just keep it on the friendship level. Me easy if you get jealous. <laughs> yeah. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna feel comfortable. Right? Okay. I'm not gonna feel comfortable. If you, if you know say you and him have that dance. close the dance yeah. before and have that close, close relationship same still, way. Yeah. yeah i'm not gonna feel comfortable about that you know see it have to cut off me not me not have a problem if 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 him call you now and then you know mm-hmm. and check and say well you know and while i'm there you talk to him and stuff like okay. that but they going out and having mm-hmm. a drink there mm-hmm. you know when weekend time come and stuff like that you have a drink mm-hmm. you know now go work and, out in, in our workout. Well, let's see what people are saying on the text line. Yeah. Huh? What's up? Gracie says, cannot work. Friend of friend. Mm. Once you cross the line and the dancing stop, mm. the friendship friendship done. Um, okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, um, Gracie says, uh, let's see what Gracie says there. Gracie said something else earlier. Um, I thought you were mixing it up. I totally forgot that he does the show with Shelly on Friday um, when you're not there. Right, 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 right. All right. Um, let's see what the other peeps are saying on the text line. Melissa, big up yourself in Pear Tree River. Juliet, brap. I'm not sure what she's saying, brap, to you know, but mm. it was earlier out. And um, Bunny from Port Moran said, big up to Daddy Road. Uh, that road is resting <laughs> and gearing up to come back to kill me off when he gets back. The <laughs> arc in our trouble. Yeah. Fitzroy says, a big up to brother Prestige. Now, me just find out why Miss Clear don't love me no more. <laughs> I wonder what make. I mean, you know, I didn't, I didn't know I didn't, I didn't, I didn't love him anymore. Yeah. Mr. CEO, big up yourself, yeah. sir. All right, any, big ups any, to you. Anytime the ladies that I work with me, I mean, I work with the, among our side. Yeah. And side with the ladies. Okay. Right? All right. It's a problem to All fix right. right. You get me? <laughs> yes. It's a problem to fix right. All right. I'm going to know how I'm going to get over it. Oh, boy. Hmm? No, no. Pray for him tonight. Yeah. Yeah. Just pray for him. All right. Lisa <laughs> says, Prestige, you're back. Oh, yes, he is. Yeah. Twice the charm. All right. Let's go back to the Vox Pop. Um, the, um, Cassidy, and let's take it in, in sections now. Yeah. So, is it okay, or should it be that your partner is your best friend? Should your partner be your best friend? No, I'm not saying that. But shouldn't best shouldn't you be friends before you even become partners? Shouldn't yeah. you be best of friends where you can confide in each other, yeah. relate just about everything that happens throughout your day with each other, mm. tell. Him, as the woman she can, she should be able to tell him, you know, I see a man and he's mm. so handsome. He's really gorgeous today. Should the woman be able to say, or the man be able to say, boy, babes, I see a catty today, you see on the street, I mean, she's a look good. At a problem. I swear, say, are you? That's going to be a problem. But they're friends. You don't want to And hear. is it a case where you can't tell your partner how you feel about anybody else because they are so insecure? Why are they insecure when they should be at the point where they know where they are in your life and we, what they mean to you. Women don't mm. like to hear, right? Hear when them partner come in and I tell him about the next woman like that. And men like to hear it? No. Oh, okay. So none of the parties like to hear it? No. But you know, there are persons, me know, me know but you know, there are persons who are secure like that who they, they do, uh, that do it. Right. Yes, there are yeah. persons who do that. Right, especially 
if you're in a relationship, 40 years. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you get me? I say, if it's seasoned. Not start a relationship and, okay. and a six-month relationship. That's going to be a problem. But should yeah. you tell your best friend, should you, rather, should you tell your partner everything? No. No. That's going to, it's going to be a problem down the line. If he doesn't yeah. think he should tell me everything, then yeah. I don't think I should tell him everything either. I put it that way. I don't have a problem with that. If he doesn't see to tell me everything, then yeah. I won't see to tell him everything either. I don't have a problem with that. Mm-hmm. You get me I say? Mm-hmm. And everything more I hear. Yeah, true. Yeah. And, every, right? and everything more I share. That's me. <laughs> yeah, and everything more I hear. Because some of the things that we hear, some of the things them, it get relationship rocky. Yeah. Humanly speaking, people start to right. think of all kind of things. All kind of things. Yeah, think about. And of course, I do think though that your partner mm-hmm. and yourself, you should share such a friendship though that nobody else mm-hmm. and you share. Yeah. It's supposed to be special and unique. Yeah. So it might not be a case where you're telling the partner everything. Mm-hmm. But whatever it is that you two have as partners, yeah. I think that should be unique and like, you know, really different and outstanding as opposed to every other friendship that you have. I strongly believe that. And when I don't get the chance to have that, I'm, I'm miserable. Mm-hmm. I want to be able to share a certain way with a partner yes. that I don't share with anybody else, whether it's socially, spiritually, and we're having private conversations intimately, you know? And needless to say, intimately should be for your partner. But other Ali. You know, I want to be able to, 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 sh- to say things with, to you that I wouldn't probably necessarily go and say to somebody else. Mm-hmm. I want to be able to run some joke with you when I can't run with nobody, run with nobody else. Yeah. I want to be, just be myself and just be mm-hmm. unique around mm-hmm. you. Yeah. You know what I mean? I, and, so and, I think partners, it's important that partners share that special bond and yeah. friendship. Okay. It doesn't necessarily mean that it, they have to be your best friend in the sense of how we put best friend because we have best friend where you tell the person everything your deepest darkest secret which i don't believe should happen to nobody at all for that matter you have your good friend there are certain things you need to keep to yourself mm-hmm. there are certain things that's things that should just be kept in your closet and there are certain things that you can share so you have to know what to share what not to share what to tell god what to go confess about what to keep to yourself mm-hmm. what to um tell yourself you'll never do again and you'll avoid this particular thing or avoid thinking this way. You can't tell everybody your deepest, darkest thoughts. So, so uh, put it like this then. You know, so. You're going down the road, right? Mm-hmm. And you go inside the supermarket. Yes. And you run into um, Junior, your ex. Mm-hmm. Right? And him say, whoa, Lady Cleo, still looking sexy in baby? Mm-hmm. Whoa. Mr. start blush. You know, yeah. <laughs> and him say to you, say, you know, um, I was dating um, Marcy and um, we broke up, mm-hmm. you know, and um, I'm single. And, and you said to him, say, um, I'm married, you know, I got two, two kids, so, mm-hmm. and I'm married. I play married and stuff like that. And him said to you, say, boy, Cleo, would I love a yeah, piece of the child. cat again, you know? <laughs> Jano, would I love a piece of the cat again? You get me, I say? You know, is it possible? And stuff like that. And you said, no, I'm married. So, mm-hmm. you know, I don't, I, I'm not going down that road that anymore. Road. Would you go home and tell your, share that with your husband? Personally? Yes. Personally. All right. And you want to be, you want to be, you want your husband to be your best friend. Right. And I'm asking you, would you go home and share that with your husband? You know, it depends on the kind of person that he is, mm. to be honest with you. Yeah. Um, If he's a kind of man who... Not going to start pressure me if you say. Mm-hmm. So I uh, went last year, Junior. Mm-hmm. Junior call back from that. Mm. I, I don't want to be under that scrutiny. Yeah. Because I can't determine or dictate if Junior calls me back. Yeah. I can't control Junior calling me back. Yeah. And now you might say, no, I have nothing to do with him because I look him and look your back, you know. So mm-hmm. now just try to avoid him, you know. Mm-hmm. Really and truly, if Junior even said that to me. Mm-hmm. And I don't wish to take up Junior on his offer. Mm. He could have deal. He could have fly high, fly low. If Claire doesn't want to accept his offer, she's not going to. And you don't think a little thing I got lacking on like the back of your mind? That's why I mean, say, man, if it depends on the him? kind of per- Exactly. So it depends on how the kind of person that he is. Yeah. Regardless. No, no, no. Regardless, you yeah, people can deal with it, man. Yeah, but... Reg- 
regardless of who, something I go lock in the back of the mind. They may not say anything to you, true, right? And I, true. And, and I go on and I say, I don't want you to talk about June or anything like that. But yeah. something I go lock in the back of my mind. Mm. Yeah? There are persons who will argue that if she tell me, she not interested. Mm. Or if you come tell me about the, the lady, mm. I'm not interested. Yeah. But the moment him not tell me, mm-hmm. or she not tell me about the man, we are check her out. Yeah. She interested. Yeah. I don't necessarily agree with that. Because a person can decide that they are going to tell you as a cover. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm going to tell him, say him no, say, I'm not really interested in a junior. Because mm-hmm. Mr. Junior him today, and you know why I hear the boy, I quite mm-hmm. about if he can get a piece of the cat. Piece of which cat? Baby love a fear cat this, him not get this no dear. Him can't get by this. Mm-hmm. And I can come and tell you that. You think every man I got us? Hold on, man, hold on. I can tell you that. Yeah. And show you. And during the, the, the dance, I can tell some something say, make him go away. Him lose out upon this, him not get by this. Mm-hmm. I, it's me and your prize position. I'm not gonna something. Yeah. And I can do that with you. Yeah. But then in the back of my head, yeah. If I really oh my god, I'm Miss Junior's Granana. Uh. But the back of him head too. That's yes, what I'm saying. Yeah. So a man can't or a woman can't say because mm. she come tell me. Yeah. She not necessarily. You can't use that to judge it anymore. Because uh. people are, people, men and women yeah. alike are understanding how to go around the thing. And a man can be with a woman, you know, and be dating a woman or be seeing a woman, dancing mm. with her mm-hmm. and give the wife or the girlfriend the impression and say, no, no, go on convincingly. Then that not going on now. Yeah. Yeah. And they see the person as their friend. Yeah. Not knowing that behind the curtains they're creeping. Yes. And it goes both ways, vice versa. That's, so that's something we are going on. It's about trust. Yeah. It's about your level of confidence where mm-hmm. you're at with your confidence level. Because mm-hmm. at the end of the day, you know, if she won't go out there and do you know, there is nothing you can just stop her. Mm-hmm. So you just have to keep your confidence and keep your composure and say, okay. She said, it's not going. And until me can't prove otherwise, I'm going to just hold it and say, it's not going. Me can't go around my head. They must see each other, you know. They must you know. And the woman, likewise, can't be paranoid, not seeing any evidence, and going around saying, yes, them there, them there. What I think they should do is in the back of their head. Mm-hmm. This is a possibility, you know. I'm going to rule it out. Yeah. But until I can see proof, just make it rest aside yeah. for a minute. Yeah. But I'm not to the door because it's a possibility. So, uh, so all when the level of trust is yes, here man. in the relationship. Yes, right? man. The my human being, the possibility it put, exists. It put, it put that doubt. Of course it does. In at the back of the mind of, of an individual. My mind for sure. Yeah. Because I've been in positions where I just probably get paranoid too. Yeah. yeah. And I say, you know what? This is going, you know. Mm. And that are going, you know. And mark you, we might not have no evidence too. But some in my head back space. And worse when him did I tell you. Worse when Something him did I tell you. Something not seem right for me. Worse when him did I tell you before. When you and him just start talk. And him tell you say. Him and Pilate break up over a year. And him a friend long time. And him a friend long, long time. Yes. And, I, and I, him take the virginity. Yeah. And all them things them I tell you. And she was so loving. You, you know. Humanly speaking. And you know. Think. And you know within yourself. Right. You never hear him talk about anything like that with the dancing with you. But he might tell you about Polly. <laughs> you get me father left in there. You get me <laughs> I come from? Yes. Then, then now, he tell you, say, you know, who I saw the other day, Polly. Uh-huh. And he said, something clicked back in the head. Can you oh ask him God. now? So, which way is the Polly? Which way is the Polly? So, what, 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 what talk about? Because you know, the Polly is that very nice, sexy young yes, lady. Yes, man. You know, see? You start feeling like we know. And you know, things will spark up back. Yes. It will spark up back. Worst of all, no, no great way they never, they never yeah. break off, break off you know, for no great reason. Yeah. And people are like, are people are like she take away. Yeah. I would say take away. So something running in your like belly. She, yeah. Why <laughs> them, them they break off away and him get involved with she. See? So she don't know, know where she's where really are going to pile it in a female head. Yeah. It's sticky. Yeah. Sticky indeed. The level of trust can be there. But at the same time, there are certain things you cannot. And you, you, Human you, inclination. You, sh- you, you should. N- not even think about saying to your partner, just leave it like yeah, that. Yeah, leave it like right? that. Right? If you find out and you say, well, like, so I say babe, these are things men don't want to fill up a brain yeah. with your mind with. Yeah. And yeah. Them away there because, you know, it don't make sense. Human be- yeah. beings will always be judgmental. Yeah. Always. It don't make sense, babe. So it don't yeah. make sense me even tell you them things. Eh? 
if somebody tell you that, you know, makes sense me to come and tell you that because I don't know the way with that of importance to you yeah. and me on a level. Real talk. Right. <laughs> Kevin says, Lady Cleo, God is a said I'm a jealous God. If God show jealousy, then what about man? Man will also. And with that, we go to the 10 o'clock break. It's now 10 o'clock, peeps. And the time is brought to us by VJ Printing Services. Real Talk is sponsored by Native Audio Stage and Lighting. So come back. Architects, draftsmen, and surveyors, get your drawings printed in high-quality professional standards. We can satisfy your printing needs. Whether it is for presentation to your clients or for submitting building and subdivision application, make it VJ Printing Services. Whether drawing by hand or with computer-aided softwares, we will plot your negatives and print the copies as you need. We do high-quality white paper printing that is water-resistant and never fades, unlike traditional blueprint. For more information, call VJ Printing at 8 893-2266 Good day driver You notice that you're parking in a no parking zone You know so you can get a ticket for this sir Really officer? But just want to pick up some hardware supplies you know Do me a beg you, give me a blind no? So if you need hardware supplies Why you don't go to Ramtula Supercenter and hardware? Ramtula Supercenter and hardware 34 Folly Road, Port Antonio, Portland We stock a wide range of products at the best prices in town. At Ramtula's Hardware, experience the three C's, comfort, competitive prices, and convenience. Ramtula Supercenter and Hardware opens 8 a.m. to midnight, seven days per week. Call 715-5132. Email ramtulasupercenter at gmail.com. Remember, we have the best prices in town. Guess what? Styles FM has a new business number for you to call, text, and now WhatsApp. 518-2399. To advertise your business and events, call, text, or WhatsApp us on 518-2399. 518-2399. Don't forget, 518-2399. Holy golly! <laughs> Your Saturdays will never be the same again! 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. on Styles FM! Catch the showdown! Social commentary! Tune no, for tune! No, no, I to no ice cream sound! Good morning, teacher, love time, teacher! E Edge, your love with a love song! All happening! Between 9 a.m. and 1 p.m. on the People Station, Styles FM, 96.1, 96.5, 96.7. Only the smooth sailing with Colin Anthony. Shotgun to the play. Remember Styles FM on social media. View us on YouTube at Styles FM Radio. Follow us on Instagram at Styles FM. Like us on Twitter at StylesFM961. Become a fan on Facebook, StylesFM96.1. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, now offering stage, lighting, and trust systems for your small and medium-sized events. Whether it's a stage show, concert, drama play, wedding, street party, or club setting, you name it, we'll bring it to life. Call us at 871-5212 or 844-6531. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, a sponsor of In the Know of the Law with Sergeant Adele Rose Green and also Real Talk with Lady Cleo and Daddy Rude. Welcome back to Real Talk. And of course, we are here with Prestige, my engineer Cassidy, and yours truly, Lady Cleo. And of course, we go back to the WhatsApp connection because we really, really, really see want to see what peeps are saying as it relates to whether your partner should be your best friend where you tell everything pretty much and do everything with and go everywhere with and yeah. Okay. Juanita in Florida says, Lady Cleo, the difference between God and man is God sees you himself. Man, listen to what people see or say half the time. They don't have any proof. As Shaggy said, it wasn't me, even if it was on camera. <laughs> mm. 
true. And um, even though um, uh, uh, Kevin in Tampa said that um, God is a jealous God, so mankind will be jealous too. That's true. And it's natural, yes. However, as Juanita said too, um, the difference between God and man is so different because mankind will just judge you. Uh, when you come and explain yourself to them and uh, try to plead your case, mm -hmm. even when you have a genuine case and you try to plead the case, once they see one particular thing or have a thought in their head, it sticks there mm -hmm. and you get no form of, mm -hmm. you know, um, openness, open mindedness from them for the most part. They're quick to judge. Yeah. All right. That's, the, God is not quite like that at all. All right. Um, Fitzroy says, Brother Prestige, what would you do if she had told you of the ex interests? What would you do if she told you that her ex still has interest in her? What would you do? Well, Brother Fitzroy, uh, I may ask her if he's still interested in him. And if she said, Oh, you know, then, then Prestige, you really ask me that? I'm going to ask her that. Yeah. Oh because goodness. if she had tell me that, I'm going to ask her that. And she give me an answer, I'm going to just leave it like that. Because I'm that type of person. But Prestige, are you in love? Who you asking yeah. that about? Me not understand me, you. Why uh, you don't ask me that, Prestige? Are you in love? I know that, but I'm going to ask you the question. Now you give me an answer just like you can go and tell me about him. No, Prestige. I you get me? don't like Junior anymore. Right? It's you, my life. Simple as that. And you give me an answer. for you give me the answer, but I feel what good. what if it me... is not the truth? Eh? If it's not the truth? Mm -hmm. Well, he's okay with the answer. Me okay with the answer. Come in, I'm make no fuss. I'm in, I'm make no fight. Okay. And but that's you know, there are people who, yeah, in them head, just have it saying, "I can't mm. go and talk. Mm -hmm. You can't tell me nothing." In the back of them head, you know, mm -hmm. the person saying, "No, no, 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 no. Are you my love? Mm. You know, yeah. Sarah, yeah. are you my love? Me not like Michelle. Yeah. Me not want about Michelle. Me Michelle done. Are yeah. you my want? In the back of your head, you say, "You yeah. can't say the go and talk, but you know about Michelle. Me not fool." See how you look, Panar. Yeah. And you so hot when back in the day. I mean, I put nothing past you. I not trust you. Is it safe to do that? No. But, but it's in your head. Mm. You're not telling the person. It's in your head. Mm -hmm. Can it stay in your head? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait till it all go. <laughs> but you know, when it stays in your head, sometimes it messes up your thoughts. Yeah. And the paranoia chips in. Yeah. But to each his own. Anytime me leave out now, I say I got a road, go go link up uh, with the virgin them. Well, and she in you know, the house. You know, you get me? There. Yeah, and she just lie down and say, things that go to her thought. And I say, what, what if you, you really gone out tonight, gang, gang, you know? True. She take up the phone and she just a boom, brrr, ring me, you know? I, I, uh, what's up, buddy? Ozzy? How are you doing, honey? And I say, not much. He said, where, where are they now? I say, um, you know, say, me and them boy, they are playing that, you know? Oh, you know, you're not know, and uh, a car shuffle. <laughs> Paranoia does that to you for yeah. real. Yeah. And then, if you even decide to go where the person is, mm. let's say the person said so they're playing domino down the mm. road or at some pub or something or mm. a sports bar, and you go there, you can very well go there and still see Melissa, you know. But yeah. guess what? I know him and she go there. Mm. But kill you dead. Yeah. Melissa did it, and yeah. him did it. Then I him and she go there. Same thing with Juanita. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, people see. So, yeah. <laughs> Juanita says, yeah. first of all, don't come and tell me your ex is still interested because the first thing comes to mind mm. is you are interested too. Yes, see, I told you this, this switch on this thing. So if you are not interested, shut it down, shut it down. Mm -hmm. And that's a very, very arguable, arguable point as well. That's the um, reason why. That's the reason why you cannot be my best friend <laughs> because me now come come tell you tell them you things. That, right? No. Secondly, it is okay. Is it okay for your partners and his ex to still be BFF? Oh my goodness. Mm. Why? It, it, it's hard for you and your, for the two ex partners to still be best friends. It's hard for me to really accept. And like I said, too, if the friendship is going to be of such greater importance than the one that you have with me, then you must expect me to have issues with that. Me to have issues with it. The relating to. How often you relate to she as opposed to how you relate to me? How you deal with she as opposed to how you re deal with me. It is going to be a problem. It's going to be a, a, a cramp in your relationship. You have to know how. The man has to know how to deal. And the woman has to know how to deal with this friend. Can you imagine? Can you imagine? Put it like this. Can you imagine? Me and you sit down, right? 
watching TV. All right? Nice show go on, and we are watching show. And you lay down in a my lap, right? And then your phone ring. You right? Mm-hmm. All right. Put it, put it my way then. My phone ring. And when my phone ring, I'm going to look at him and say, oh, Maxine Carlin. Well, you know, say Maxine was mm-hmm. my ex. Maxine Carlin. I mean, I say what she want. Sometimes I have a problem when people are in there, you know. You know what I mean? And then mm-hmm. you need help or something like that. I mean, answer, hello? I say, what's up, Max? I say, nothing. You know, I say, I'm there, I'm in mind, I run by you. And I say, yeah, you know, I hear the part, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know. And you again to you and say, put it on speaker. You will say, put it on speaker. You get me, I say? Mm-hmm. Because you are the wife. Mm-hmm. So if me and Maxine are not in or nothing, you all tell me, put it on speaker. <laughs> and I said to you, say, no, I'm not put it on speaker because maybe she has something important to talk about where she don't want you to hear. So me and I talk right there. And she said to me, say, X, Y, Z, X, Y, Z, X, Y, Z. And really, just, I check up on me if she said, okay, mm-hmm. that's it. You know? I mean, just hang up. We're not going on, on details, no conversation, nothing. Just, you know, just checking up on you to see if you're all right and wait, wait, wait. Then you said to me, no, say, we're well, Maxine, say, because you're not going to feel good for you, say, may you lie down right there, 10 o'clock in the night, Maxine take a phone and call me, mm. right? And I check up on me if I find out how I'm doing. You going to feel okay with that? Oh, no. Eh? Mm-mm. Mm-mm. You're not going to feel okay with Mm-mm. that? Mm-mm. I shall try, shall try to take my place. I try and push up ourselves. I disrespect me away. That's how I'm going to feel. Mm-hmm. Yeah. She tries to send me a message. Mm-hmm. And probably he's facilitating it. If he, if but he me and I, you know, I'm a, I'm a friend. I, yeah, I agree. Yeah, me and I, you know, nothing. She didn't even know I'm a friend. friend. You need to know them place too, you know. Some of the yeah. time, you know. Some of the friends need to know them place too. Yeah. And the partner, partners need to, need to set some precedence as to yeah. the, this, the level yeah. that the friendship should be at and where it shouldn't cross. Some boundaries need to be set. Yeah. And partners need to understand that boundaries need to be set. The so woman what, has to set boundaries for her friends mm-hmm. and the male has to set boundaries for his friends. So what am I the, what am I the latest time a friend like Maxine can call the house? To check if you're all right. Call, yeah. What time are the latest? 7 o'clock. 6 7 o'clock. o'clock. 7 o'clock, yeah. yeah. People up them time there. So after 7 o'clock? Yeah, man. Yeah. If I, want, if I want emergency yeah. and you have to relate to the person mm-hmm. and you have to call, yeah, fine. Mm-hmm. So she but left. 10 mm-hmm. o'clock, 9 o'clock, so. Mm-hmm. Look here, man. She has a family. Yeah. He has a family. Yeah. Respect that. Yeah. You know you're a bed <laughs> and you because you're because you're alone there, you're a yard and you're lonely. You got to call phone, I got to call Johnny. With your jealous and, and self. The, yeah. yeah, and I got to call him. You'll be attacked. Jealous, jealous, man. You're not jealous, jealous, jealous. Sometimes, yeah. Yeah, go ahead. Call him. Um... Johnny, what? Mm. Yeah. Oh, you don't know. Mm. You feel better? Yeah, you start up a nice, nice conversation. We are going to start a conversation with who? No, I'm saying she, oh. because she's with home me? alone. Yes. But I'm not going to start a conversation but with she right you here. But you know, you're afraid for her to up on the phone. Mm. You're afraid for her to start up go on because you're at home with your family. Because you're afraid and you don't want to hurt your friend's feelings. I'm going to tell her. These things happen, you know, man. I'm going to tell her. I'm going to say, Maxine, listen up. We Uno cannot, man, we cannot hold, like post. We cannot hold a conversation right here at this moment, right? We're not doing it. You get me, I say? We're not you know? doing it. Because me, you can't talk about Juna right now, which is our, our boyfriend. And that she want to talk about, she don't want to talk about him. What do you mean? You might not call me if you talk about She want to talk about neither. She want to talk about you and how you do. Because me, I tell you, me and my wife, you watch TV. How many men will do that? How many men will do that? How many? Yes, not many. Anyways, <laughs> we're going to go to some back up in a minute. Juliet says, uh, let's catch it. Let's see what um, Juliet says. No prestige. Some of them very, very presumptuous. It's true, Juliet. Thank you so much. Very, very presumptuous. For true, true, true. Um, Juanita says, thank you. I need, she plays such, where am I? Uh, I need, she plays such a significant role in your life. If she plays such a significant role in your life, why the heck did you break up with her? <laughs> you should stick to her, stick to the evil that you know, and work it out. So, because you know, break off, you know, mm. and they know you know, uh, you know, still tight like peas in a pod. Eh, eh. Mm. Next one, Cassidy. Um, th- just one way. It's one way for true. Um, 
All right, so we're going to go quickly now to some Vox Pop and see what people are saying. Um, before that, though, Br Prestige. Okay, we got that one already. All right, so let's hear what some of the Vox Poppers are saying. Your partner should be your friend, naturally, of course. But as a when you have a partner, there are like several relationships in that one relationship. And like you have a relationship with your partner as a friend, as your lover, as your husband, as a partner in crime. They become kind of everything. Even you like any one of them. They become kind of everything. So I don't believe in that aspect. But in the section of another person, no. I don't believe in friend. The more time you spend with a person, the more time feelings come up. And the more feelings, the more relationship gets deeper. So I don't believe in my partner having a friend with a female where they spend time, intimate time together. Of course, that friend and my partner can go out with other friends, but I don't believe in going out single, single like that with another person. I just don't see that happening really where there's no connection. I don't know. I'm not going for that one at all. Well, I can say yes. Your partner should be your friend. And um, you can be friends with somebody and then become lovers. But how can somebody become uh, um, like you have a good friend? And every minute when I dance. And no emotional attachment. No, man, that's so I think from your uh, you, have, you dance with the person over and over. You must have some kind of emotional, some kind of attachment to that person. And if we find out to my partner and feel friend, keep on a dance one and two times. Would be comfortable with their friendship no more. Because that's more than friendship. That is mate. Real love is rich, pure and self-sacrificing. So to experience that kind of love with your best friend, trust me, it's priceless. Remember, you know, your best friend is the one person in your life where you can talk to about anything and everything. You spend one whole lot of time with that person there where you call your best friend, right? And your best friend accompany you through every aspect. So um, your partner will do the same. So believe it or not, falling in love with your best friend it is the best thing ever. Me, 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 me feel say the reward where you gain from that and the band where the two of you are going to build together. Me just feel say that are the, the, the best thing that can ever happen to you. Right? Remember, you know, when you, when you fall in love with your best friend, you know, you don't know about each other, you don't know, you know, in and out, the deepest moment of your life. You know, you know, trust get deep rooted, right? So you know each other inside out and what each other will do. So falling in love with your best friend, me think that, me, me, me feel that are the best thing ever. Okay, well, um, <clears throat> it is always good for partners to be friends and the better the friendship, the better the relationship overall. Um, there's always a problem though that would develop from friends who become lovers over time that is probably one of the best relationships to have because that friendship creates a better connection um with a relationship but over time the friendship tends to start go go away you know start to diminish once you start being intimate and the intimacy grows so so the intimacy grows the friendship goes the other way um it would definitely be uncomfortable if my boyfriend should have a relationship whether it be once or a few times a long time ago with somebody who he refers to as his friend because there's always going to be that lingering feeling in the background um persons someone will have some kind of connection there some kind of intimacy some kind of feeling so for me like yeah it's 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 good to be friends and the best relationships is always when one are friends but it probably would be best if the relationship part builds and the friendship comes after but being friends and then get intimate it always cancels out 
the the friendship part because then it's like okay because you're now together with that person the things that you would say to them before that would not necessarily cause them to feel jealous or to be upset they are not going to take it um more personally you know so maybe as friends you'd be like oh you know i like that guy or he would say oh you know i like that girl but then as the relationship grows no one's going to be able to say oh i like that girl or i like that guy because then it's now become offensive okay real talk indeed um so many views from the vox pop some agreeing some disagreeing some saying oh mm -hmm. no and giving reasons why um the human mind is a very complex and complicated one and it sometimes takes you places that you don't want to go because you're emo of your emotional connection so you might find that somebody will say um you know my ex called and said so and so and so and in the back of your head you're saying i know she isn't involved with him i have no doubt whatsoever that she's not going to go back to him but then who knows maybe as time progresses something somewhere just causes you to wonder for a moment you might just wonder i wonder if they're still in contact I wonder if they go out and see each other. It, it might happen. Yeah. So, you know, because we know that the, the human mind is so different and unique, and I'm going to use the word unique, and sometimes things come in there that you, don't even, you, never, you weren't even thinking about. You didn't even plan to harbor these thoughts, and they just come. Just like going to your bed and dreaming about somebody you've never even imagined having sexual encounter with, yet you dream them all dancing away the whole night away with you you know what i mean so the mind works subconsciously and consciously in so many different ways that you, you least sometimes even expect it to right so there are certain things i believe that you should really just let let, let it be yeah. and the friendship thing with you yeah the best friend thing as we know it or as we have it i don't think we should go down that road with a partner i think we should have a very good friendship though be great friends but mm -hmm. not somebody who you tell. So what the difference? What the difference with best it's friend and, 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 and great friends? And great friends. Great friends, yeah. I believe. Yeah. It's not very different from best friend, you yeah. know. But while it is that I have a female friend, mm -hmm. let us say I have a female friend who we are close. Yes. And I might say certain little things to her. Mm -hmm. It's gonna mm -hmm. be different now to come to my partner with that very same. Info. Mm -hmm. Worse if, it, if what I told her was about him. Mm -hmm. Maybe I can't face him to tell him what I said to my friend. Mm -hmm. And Mark you, I probably should be able to. Mm -hmm. But uh, as I said, because of the emotional connection that people have, mm -hmm. there are certain things that you can't seem, seem to tell. Some people can't tell their partners because of the emotions that will, it will um, cause to come up and the emotions will cause them, to, cause them to now start thinking irrationally. And they won't stop and say, okay, this is my partner. And this is the person who should be telling me this. Everybody else around me, yeah. this person, this woman or this man should be the one telling me this particular thing. So, so let me accept it. Yeah, so no. why, why, why would you want to go out there and tell your best friend something about your partner? No, man, no, man. You have people who will say something. I don't, mm -hmm. I don't, not, not necessarily bad either. Not mm -hmm. necessarily bad. Mm -hmm. But maybe it's a case where what can but bother with prestige in a man? Prestige just not nah, every nah, see, evening in come in, in. Put on clothes and in gone again. Yeah. And I'm telling some can deal with it. In just keep on. Uh, we we make us a night time. How about if you have woman doing? It's like telling your friend that your female friend that. Yeah. It's gives you a little bit more comfort to just get it out. I it's have, in your head. I have the one in, 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 no, in your business. Not necessarily, in, in but life. just let it out. Mm. But with him now, mm. you might find that your approach to him is going to be different. Every night you come out, you're gone, you're girl, girl, then. No, you come can't. On, no, on. you don't have and, to. And you might, you might find that person might do that or yeah. you where, where are you talk, going? No, you can't ask a big man that. Why not? Is your man, you can't ask a big man that. Is him? your woman, why she can't ask you, you where you're going? You can't ask a big man in kind of something there. And that would, would agree with you? Because the big man is going to look for you and tell you before you even ask him that. Say, listen up, babe. May I step out for you a minute, you know? You so, know what I mean? So, baby, where, where are you going? Where are you going? Why can't I ask me where you going? May I tell you? 
before okay. you ask me that. We went to me Be a mere step off here a minute. You get me? No, you're going. Right? You're not have to ask me no, that. No, I'm going to tell you. No, I'm going to tell you. I don't need to tell me where you're going. I'm going to tell you where you're going. But, 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 but you're going to you ask me that before me even finish? <laughs> sure, you are. Yeah, but I'm going to tell you. Okay, go ahead again. Babe, I'm, mm-hmm. step, I'm going to step off here a minute. All right? Yes. Me and Junior, right? And then boy, I go down the road because they have a little nine night down there. So we go down the road. So I'll be back in about the next hour. Go down the road where? Are them something you have to get in? Huh? Exactly where you're going down the road. Eh? Yes, yes. Where you're going? I quote me there. Yes, I quote. <laughs> me want to know where you are go. Down the road where? Which nine night coming enough? Nobody with the community. Where yeah. you are going nine night go do? We are, which you don't know of anybody. If you don't know of anybody, no. you ask me. I me tell you, Mrs. Smith down the road, down the so no, cousin no, no, dead. Mrs. Smith, cousin we pass on. No one fi know where you are going. I lie you are tell. See right, you know we start problem you know, because you want know. to come, come with me then. All right, fine, me I come. Yeah, join your sisters <laughs> and come. <laughs> Can you imagine mm. the discomfort now mm. with me coming with you is just because I want to see where you're going and not really because I want to come with you. Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. No, yeah, one no of them. I am one of them cause problem in a relationship. <laughs> you know that? Yeah, you're asking too much question. Questions are made to ask. You <laughs> lucky. You lucky this evening. <laughs> Juanita says, um, I honestly don't believe in friendship after the fact because there is a seniority. She seniority. She was there up to twenty years. You only been there three years, so feelings can develop. If me and him have problems, then he runs back to her to confide in her, and it can move on to a higher level. Yes, know. or if in the law, in the laws, irritates you and upset you. I totally agree, Lady Clear. Your spouse cannot be your best friend. You will be great friends, company, and confidant, but there are certain things you cannot tell your spouse, right, or your best friend. And again, there are certain things that you will tell your best friend, your mm-hmm. good friend at work or whatever, your close friend, mm-hmm. but you will not tell your spouse. I'm sorry. There are certain things that you will tell your spouse that you would never dare consider if you could tell your, your best your friend. Best friend. Mm-hmm. So, you know, it's about balancing, balancing it and knowing what... So we discuss with who yeah. and what. Because maybe if I go to the man and say, every day you're coming, you're gone. Yeah? And I don't know where you're going at night time. That could just start a feud right there, so. Right. While if I know with myself, say, okay, I met this man and he used to go out. And, you know, I've been friends and link up with the night time. I right. can't just come and come expect him. I'm going to stop, brap and whatever. Right. He might not go every night. He has to know how to balance it too. Right. So he's not going to go every night, yes. Mm. But sometimes with, sometime with me too. But when he wants to go and hang with his friends, I shouldn't be having a problem. So you might find, say, tell him a friend gives me an escape route to just vent. Mm-hmm. You know, just vent a little bit. Yeah. So I won't pressure him with it. I won't mention the problems to him. But just to my friends, sometimes I can't even bother every night, I'm just gone. So I, even at night, every weekend, I'm just gone. So I wonder where I'm going to go. And your friend take a business, tell your next friend. Ah, that's the next, that's friend, the next take problem. It, tell your next true, friend. real talk. Yeah. So we, we I'm going to mm-hmm. say, we have to be so careful mm-hmm. because really and truly, you know, say, clear, I tell me, say, the man, I go out a weekend time, and guess what? Clear man, I give him bun. I give him bun because we see him down the road with Jane. Mm-hmm. And every time he go out and something, like Jane, the back of him, PP clock, and she go in the car, mm-hmm. and she. And then you don't know where it goes. So we have to be so careful. Va- back to the Vox Pop, um, Cassidy. Dalvi, hold, hold on. Sir G in Dalvi says, You and your ex can call, and him not. And it's okay. Call and say hi. Not after 8 o'clock. <laughs> All right, sir. Um, Juliet says she has a sto- oh, story. We have a texter here. Let me see if I can get that one quickly. Any more, dear Prestige? Any more, mm-hmm. dear Cassidy? Mm-hmm. Um, there's a text that I want to get out. Um, this one says, You know, my first baby father never stopped warming me back. Want me to get back with him? Always a talk where and what one what him I got do to me. Hey, whoa. I did tell my other kids dad only because I was not interested. So she told the man, the other kid's daddy, 
about the ex who wanted her mm -hmm. back because she wasn't interested. Mm -hmm. Now, if <clears throat> I have someone in my business that, him keeper asks if me have someone. And I told him that the guy, they are Jamaica. Don't know why he may ask. Because me no like him like that no more. Mm -hmm. He make my skin crawl. So, of course, you know, when some exes become real exes. Mm -hmm. And you don't want to have nothing to do with them. Mm -hmm. So, if you do tell your present partner about them, it's really because you're not interested. Some people will do that. And and in some, this particular case, that's yeah, the case. Yeah, and some exes are ex with spark up back a fire. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Yes. Um, well, let's see the other part to this. Mm. Hmm. Best friends, what's your view on best friends becoming lovers? Nothing is wrong with that. If you are best friends and you yeah. develop where we you are attracted become, to the person yes, after, yeah. you, you know the ins and outs mm -hmm. and their pitfalls and them bad ways and good ways, and you can mm -hmm. deal with it and mm -hmm. you just fall in love with them. Yeah. I think that's the best love affair that you can think of. Where you, 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 the person is close enough to you to know you. Because guess what? Some of the time, you know, some people who get in together, they don't know the one another, you know. Mm -mm. And after them start learning about the one another, them get disgusted. And on that thought, we hold it because the time is 10.30. The time is brought to us by VJ Printing Services and Real Talk. The sponsors for Real Talk is Native Audio Stage and Lighting. Soon come. Architects, draftsmen, and surveyors, get your drawings printed in high-quality professional standards. We can satisfy your printing needs. Whether it is for presentation to your clients or for submitting building and subdivision application, make it VJ Printing Services. Whether drawing by hand or with computer-aided softwares, we will plot your negatives and print the copies as you need. We do high-quality white paper printing that is water-resistant and never fades, unlike traditional blueprint. For more information, call VJ Printing at 8 893-2266 Party people, are you ready? Stars 96 FM and DJ4 The Illest present Detour This and every Saturday night 8pm to midnight Tune in for the best mixes The better mixing and nothing but vibes Ladies, ladies, ladies It wouldn't be a party without the ladies Ladies special detour hour 11pm to 12 midnight That's the Saturday night detour Stars 96 FM With the illest DJ4 8pm to 12 midnight You just gotta tune in Great news everyone DIB Block Factory and Hardware Supplies Located at 44 William Street Port Antonio now open every Sunday from 9 a.m. until 2 p.m. Stop in and beat the Monday crowd. Get the same great service on a more convenient day. Doing some work on a Sunday? Run out of material? No need to worry. DIP Hardware will be there to serve you. Still the number one supplier in Portland of building materials, hardware supplies, kitchen and bathroom finishes. DIP Hardware Port Antonio. Now open this and every Sunday, 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. 44 William Street, Port Antonio. See you there. Now, this is the Wild Adelam out and Wild representing for Wild African Records alongside JQ Records. Presents Clash of the Titans, dope for dope style. Featuring Black Pearl alongside DJ Prestige and Payaka Music. Piercing off your $100,000 grand prize. And do remember, live performance by I the Wild Other Gang alongside War Waiter, Ramalo, Bumdika, and the Bless, Ailone. Admission, $300, don't you all ask a friend to follow. Place to be, Lanzalan, Crossroad, Port Antonio, and Port Tita. Do you feel trapped behind your glasses? Ever considered what life would be like to wake up to crisp, clear vision? LASIK Vision Correction may be just the answer you're looking for. At Caribbean LASIK Vision Center, our team of certified doctors and counselors are available for LASIK evaluation. Call us at 6300958 or visit www.lasikcaribbean.com. We are conveniently located at 34 Lady Musgrave Road, CLVC, where technology meets the eye. 
native audio stage and lighting. Now offering stage, lighting and trust systems for your small and medium sized events. Whether it's a stage show, concert, drama play, wedding, street party or club setting, you name it, we'll bring it to life. Call us at 871-5212 or 844-6531. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, a sponsor of In the Know of the Law with Sergeant Del Rose Green and also Real Talk with Lady Cleo and Daddy Rude. Welcome back to the show, people. Remember the local number to call us or to send us a text message if you want to do so is 876-453-1444. All right, remember, too, that we do not accept WhatsApp voice messages on the WhatsApp connection. All right, guys, just text messages only. And if you're overseas, that number is 954-338-7973. That's 954-338-7973. Feel free to give us a call right about now. All right. Big ups to Sister Nyla, locked in from St. Andrew. Good night to the Styles family and yourself. Charmy, Charmy. Long time I don't see Charmy, Charmy. You know, I hear from Charm. How are you doing, Charm? Good to see you. Good night to you as well. Um, yeah, so we go back to the Vox Pop, the other parts to the Vox Pop. We discuss them a little bit more. Um, do you believe that people can truly be friends, but are intimate when required and there is no emotional connection? Why? The fact that you can have intimacy and mm. keep going back to the intimacy, mm. something connect this all. Yeah. So whether it's something inside of you or inside of her, something click, you touch a spot. So you keep going back. Something, something is there. Whether the dancing is great or it better than when I have, you know, all that's better than when I have a yard. Mm -hmm. or whatever the reason. You keep hmm. going back. So <laughs> it must be there for you to be going back. So I don't think that you can just get up, get up, and just have that intimate something, something there. Every time you feel, and no, feel, and no feelings. Yeah, every time you feel for one something, 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 mm. you're gone to Johnny. Or Johnny gone to she. No emotional connection. No emotion. Is, is that possible? Oh, that would that work? No emotional connection mm. beyond that of the friend. Mm. You know, you have people who have quite hard on man because even the movie Friends with Benefit, mm. they started out thinking that, you know what, I'm just going to have this sexual connection. Benefit. So I, I, I get sex from you and vice versa. We benefit from, that, from each other in that way. After mm. that, mm -hmm. go back to your business. Go back to your business. I, you want to date somebody? Go ahead and date. I want to date somebody? I go ahead and date. But over time, because they are constantly connecting, those juices are flowing and connecting, and they are making some, 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 some chemical bonds and so on inside. They're, you know, you find that over time, your feelings going to change. Yeah, so, so what are really do it for? Just feed us, About, get a release. Mm -hmm. I can't understand. And, and if you're not nice, where right? you go back for? Where you go back for? Mm -hmm. So, yeah. connection to the man. You might yeah. not identify it yet, but yeah. it's there. <laughs> Emotional connection, in my view, yeah. will be there. If you're there instantly, it will come. Because over time, you'll keep getting that pleasure and that satisfaction from that person. You're going to find yourself wanting probably even more. And let me say, you have some men who say, boy, yo, I can't look upon her, but she feel good about her face. And then you have, you have some who will say, boy, no matter, you know, when me I get feel good and then never mind the face. Typical man still, but, you know, I don't really mind the physical appearance. But when me I get, she, she good star, she got it like that, she can manage, and she can do her thing, she, she's a good dancer. And, you know, it happens. So... I don't mean, know. Emotional. And in that case, mm -hmm. would you say the male who is not looking at, she might not be physically the most attractive person in his view. Mm -hmm. But he went there and what he got, he liked it. Maybe all of that. So, in going back, are you saying that I, I there's no emotional connect? 
and of him and of him cup of tea for party with her like go out with and of stuff interact like that with yeah. and socialize with but yeah but in that department the, the, the here dancing too. all right so you just go back for that alone yeah you just go back that for the means dancing. our question is is answered then it's possible yeah. that you can yeah. keep going back to something that you don't have no emotional connection to yeah. it's a possibility then yeah because because it, it yeah, some woman still, you know, you know, where, mm -hmm. yeah, ladies, <laughs> all of us, all of us, we not, we not born pretty, and all of us born pretty, yeah, true. and we don't make people, true. you get me, I say, right, 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 you know, see, you have to just love a but person to who be, they are, right, but then a person yeah. might not be physically attracted, attracted attractive to, that, to somebody else, for to somebody else, individual, right, right, and I think it's wrong that with way. that, because it's just no. your taste, right, but at the same time, the dancing nice, mm -hmm. And the pretty one can't do a dancing nothing, at all. Nothing, boring. nothing, 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 mm -hmm. nothing. Right? And let me say, quote unquote, pretty yeah. one that is. Yeah. All right, what well, you mm -hmm. deem as, some people deem as pretty. Yeah. Not necessarily my view. Yeah. All right? So, okay, this person says, no, they can't. They can't keep going back. And no, unless and, that is there. And then. That the person say. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Um, no, they can't. Somebody mm. always catch feelings. Yeah. And either they progress or one person says that to the other is getting too attached. Mm -hmm. Friends should, should not hook up. Real talk. It's hard when friends hook up because as just if it's true, you know, somebody might just get catch, catch feelings. Yes, you know, that la mm. layman term. Mm. Boy, I'm a catch feelings fair because I know of cases where people start out just intimately. So what about if one Over person has feelings for you? So feelings one, for if, 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 say for instance, you have feelings for me, and me not have any feelings for you. How it work? Mm-hmm. Eh? Yes. You have feelings for me. Right? And I don't have any feelings for you. Mm-hmm. But we're still going back. Wow. Mm. That's simply mean that you want it? Mm-mm. Mm and you no. like it? Mm-mm. No, me just ask. Come in, I have, me not have that feelings for you. Well, you know, know that wait, a wait, man, wait, wait. a yeah. man can keep going back and not have nothing for true. Mm. I've learned that men, I even hear men say, I can go with a woman tonight, get up tomorrow morning, don't look at her, or look like I don't even, don't even know her. Well, I think for the average woman, the average woman, it's difficult to do that. Because to me, a part of you is now shit with the person. Mm -hmm. And maybe, yeah, someone will tell you, say, me can't do it. Mm. Yeah, but, but I don't think the average woman can do it. She has some, a part of her is now gone to this well, man. Well, you she's use the word feel, average, yeah. Yeah, she's going to mm. feel connected to him some way, yeah. shape, or form. Yeah. Hmm, Vox Pop, please, Cassidy. Because okay. Mm, go ahead, um, mm. Prestige. Because yeah, yeah, women out there where with us take up him safe and then just bam and then just with motive get up and I gone. guess with motive yeah and just gone hmm yeah do with him and just gone and then they will look upon you as you see him you get me I say mm -hmm. then don't even look upon you hmm yeah <laughs> get up and is it is it is, is, what is, me is do it and just put is it those that, that and did it gone. doing it for a particular purpose is it are is it necessarily those you have some other ones who are like that too. I think it's just it's just like you have some just like you have um people who are addicted to alcohol. Mm. You oh, get me? I say addicted to sex. Yeah. Addicted. Yeah. Like NSC. <laughs> you know what I say? Just come. Mm. Them just it, it doesn't matter. A prestige. I want to like I didn't say prestige. I didn't just do what them I do. I didn't just gone. Mm -hmm. You know, running. You never run out of the people there again. <laughs> <laughs> well, one to say they call it friends with benefits. Uh, oh, what's the benefit though? That's the sex alone. Yeah, wow. Yeah. I wonder <laughs> if there, there's anybody out there who knows of anybody who just other benefits apart from the sexual benefits, uh, or is it that friends with benefits only relate to sex? I don't think it only relates to sexual benefits. Mm. Um, anybody who knows of anybody else out there out there who they have a friend and the benefit is not just sex or not sex at all? Or is it that sex will have to be a part of the benefit? Because if you're not getting something for what you're doing, you won't continue doing it. Will he continue doing it or will no. she continue doing it? No. Mm. So sexual gratification is a, a major part of this benefit thing. Yeah. 
and then probably other things. Mm. Mm. Wow. And sometimes it's a barter, barter system, so you give up the sex mm -hmm. because you want this particular thing as a trade. Yes. Wow. Mm. 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 Well, let's go back um, to the Vox Pop. Um, so you do believe, then I guess we're going to have to believe that people can truly be friends. Um, but when they get intimate, if they really want to get intimate, they can go back to being friends and no bonding. <laughs> <laughs> difficult, a difficult one, but um, a difficult one. And as you say, it's hard. You rarely see two of them sticking out to say, okay, we're just friends. One person, if it's even the female or the male over time, just start developing where they want more than what they're getting. Is that like the, 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 Every the, day. The, the, this is like coming like, you know, me and I do something this evening and me and I catch a little argument and she mm. just got about her ways. You get me, I say, mm -hmm. right? And when, when, when two days, three days after again, mm -hmm. come back right? again. I'm a friend, you know, yeah. and we talk, you know. And yeah. stuff like that. But just getting a little argument, boom, a little thing going, time out your ways. And can, and, and can you imagine a female you seeing the, the guy? You you call and you say, how you doing? Hey, wait, wait, wait. And you know, make last night, you know. Mm. Forget about last talk, night. Talk, 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 like you know, because, day. you know, and then it's weird. I mean, she got you off last night, so I'm sorry about that. And, mm. you know, because we are friends. Mm -hmm. Right? And then. Weird. That again, come oh, in Lord. again. Weird. You get me, I say? Weird, bad. And then it's weird. And, and imagine yeah. you and her say it twice or three times for the moon. Yeah. And then she just gets up, or he just gets up from the lady and just gets dressed. Put on in clothes and gone. Gone. Yeah. Probably a gun to next to next woman. Between wife yeah. or between girlfriend. Yeah. I think over time the average one went and said, listen to me, no man, this can't work out, you know. Every month, back a month, back a month, every day, so come in here and you're, you're sleeping, man, you're just gone. You're not getting a work phone call from you for the next month. You know, they're my friends, so they know, but mm. just keep it casual after that. Just casual, no big deal. If you call, you call, because yes, my friend. If you call, you call. If you don't call, I saw. So. And when you're ready to come, you just come back. No, sir. Mm. The average person can't operate like that. Unless I sell, she I sell. <laughs> eh? <laughs> Let's do the last part to this. <laughs> if you discover that your partner and his or her friend had a one-off intimate encounter, how would you feel about their friendship presently? So we, were, we had started dissecting this one a little bit. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, and um, but just before we do that, I have a text here that uh, I think we need to share from one of our callers. I've been there, done that. I have a good friend that would sort me out upon availability and need. We talk about anything, work, school, family, it's about any topic they talk about. Nothing changes. Still, my good up, good up, brethren. Mm -hmm. No emotional connection. Oh, she does call upon him? Yeah. Because the yard can do the work the right and proper mm -hmm. way. Probably so. Right? And him is a good worker, man. We're not there. Yeah. Never there. Yeah. And we'll never, <laughs> and we'll never be together. Mm. I just my friend, my mm. real friend. Yeah. Him put in the good work. She all know when me a bad road. Yeah. We all know who... We all know who me are bad with. And we know when she are bad too. Mm -hmm. hmm. So just, them, them bonified like that. Yeah. And talk about everything, and this is really yeah. everything for true. Yeah. So it can work. You have to just understand the mm. importance of the friendship. Yeah, you have people and, and she have different people. Different from, yeah. different from sex, yeah. yes. You have people and she have people. Per, she a fair person mm. and at the same time they're still bonified and chat about everything and they yeah. understand themselves say all yeah. right we're just a bonified yeah bridge and, in. yeah and, and when we feel if some of that come yeah. no one again no, we feel for some of that work there we just get some of that work there and, mm. and that's all about it and we just move on so uh, so this this absence of absence of connection then mm. is based on the understanding 
Mm-hmm. It can work yeah. if you have an understanding. Yeah. And not where one party you now changes after you have an understanding. One party when you know, say, I'm not bad that one, no, just sex for you, I'm not want more than that, I'm not want husband, no. Problem I'm a life, I'm not want more than just this. I just say problem all That's where the problem starts. Yeah. So it's possible. Mm. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, we have any more text messages? Let's see what. We got that one already. Yeah, we got that one already. All right. Let's see the other part to this. Yeah. So your friend, your partner, and they are friend. The partner, the male partner, and his female friend, they had a one-off intimate encounter. And I would more likely think it is before you and him, you and I get together or you and him got together. You had this one-off encounter. How would you feel about their friendship presently? If they look very tight, I'm gonna have I'm gonna have a, a problem with it. If they if they're just moving too tight. I have a problem with it. I don't care what you want to call me. Call me crazy. What do you mean moving too tight? Money have to free up, you mean? No, man. If you want to move too close, man. Oh, too close? Yes. If oh. a caller on the 453. Good night, caller. Welcome to the show. Hello? We lost the caller. Call back, please, and thank you. All right. Um, if they want move too close. Yeah, and I yeah. learned that they had yeah. a, a one-off. And, and for me... Mm. Again, call me crazy. Mm-hmm. If they say they had a one-off encounter, you can't convince me of that. Because mm-hmm. in my head, one time, I'm going to be like, I'll probably have 10, 100 times. Mm-hmm. So you only tell me, say, at one time, feel like, quack me and feel cool me down. I just don't believe, I'm not going to believe, say, at one time. So, you know, one needless time, to say, mm-hmm. but based on the topic, yeah. if you believe, say, at one time, how will you feel now that she and this dude are still brethren? Cannot feel good. Why one intimate encounter? Why? Why intimate any at all? But let us say you got intimate. Why never again? Why wouldn't you go back? It was that bad. The nookie was that bad. He didn't go back. He was that ineffective. He didn't go back. Like, seriously? Worse than what I'm feeling from him. He's like, oh my goodness. I'm on cloud nine. This man brings me to the moon and back. What make a one fans is why she no want him back. Why only one day get they get no more time than did God here? Who has a problem? The man not on you. I lie my tail. Yeah. I'm more than one time in God day. I lie she tell. <laughs> That's my view. <laughs> So that simply mean so that simply mean, so that simply mean then mm. you no believe your husband. You'd have doubt in your back yes, of your man, mind. Yes, I have doubt in the back of my head, man. One time, woman. Yeah. I'm not still tight up so now. Mm. Just tight up, just so no, no sir. Mm-mm. One time, one wear. Can't convince me of that. Sorry. Mm-mm. Call me crazy. Remember, that's a disclaimer. Call me crazy. But I don't think he was no one time. And I, I probably still think but, it's still go, it's still going on. Yeah. It's probably still going on. No, then, then, then oh, oh, oh you gotta have that level of trust in a relationship if you, if you are your husband, a, a, a deal, and he might tell you the truth. Then, master, you yeah? think your yeah, husband, then he might tell you the truth. Do you think every relationship yeah? has a one hundred percent trust rating? Any relationship you are in. Not me, yeah. <laughs> not me particularly, <laughs> but do you believe that there's a 100% yeah. trust rating in every relationship? No, it's, it's never going to happen. It's not going to happen. Uh-uh. So We want it to happen, but mm. it's not. And now, don't get me wrong, I'm not saying that you must go around distrusting, mistrusting your, your mm. partner. Yeah. But if it is that you have your doubt, and it's just a doubt, you can keep it to yourself too, yeah. still. Yeah. And don't create mayhem yeah because you don't have any proof it's just but a, it's, nah. it's just the same like the man just look by and say babe don't you worry about anything i love you right mm. you are my one and only oh yes you get me i say but now go out there and play them kind of game there uh-huh. you know see so oh yeah and i'm harry potter you, you don't need to worry yourself sure i won't worry right? there what took place between I me and marcia watch you like fbi what took place between me and marcia in the past 
that's in the past. Mm-hmm. So, men let will us tell women anything they w- just because they want to hear it. Mm. I know that. Men will tell women anything they think they need to hear to shut them up. And they will play on your emotions. They'll play on our emotions just to convince us of what they want to convince us of. We, Some of no, them. No, we will tell you anything. Some of them. Where you feel here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, where you want to hear. Where you feel here. My wife and sweetheart should be friends. Laugh out loud. Is that right, Mr. Florida? Is that right? My wife, there's a song, you know. Mm. I would love what? I would love my, yeah, my would sweetheart like and my wife to be friends. Friend, yeah. Can you imagine? Mm. Wishful thinking. Boy, I tell you. And there are cases, though, that they, that they are. Yeah, there are some cases that they are. They are so close. Um, Vox Pop quickly, Cassidy. Um, so, the last part there, if you discover that your partner and his friend or her friend had a one-off intimate encounter... How would you feel about the friendship presently? I would have inhibitions, definitely. Prestige. How would you feel about it? A couple of glitches here and there, doubts. If them tight up, tight up, tight up. It's not going to work out for me. not going to work out for me neither. If mm. them, I want to friendship where they talk and I'm, I can hear the conversation or I see them talking face to face mm-hmm. or when he's on the phone or when she's on the phone, the partner hear the conversation. It's a little bit different that way because they're really constant because they had a one-time thing. When, before you, yeah, you're going to say, don't talk to her because you're dead now. Nah, nah. That's too much restriction right there. It just not going to work for me. The closeness. Yes, not going to work for me. But I am by right? Audi on the road. Can, you can see go. him on the road, you can't say hi to him. No problem mm-hmm. about that. I have a problem about that. You get mm-hmm. me, I say? Mm-hmm. You and him can't take up and say, but you're going to have a drink. Because you just come out for work and I might invite you out for your drink and you go have a drink with him. And when you come back in, you tell me, say, what, what is, what is that group thing? What if it's a group thing? You get me, I say, right? What about a group at work? You group? Could, yeah. Listen up. Having a social. Listen up. Listen up. I don't want you to come back and go and tell me nothing about <laughs> your ex. Prestige get mad. Group. Ah. You get me, I say? He was here with us. <laughs> me not join the game there. What if, what if you can come along? Eh? What if you come along in the group? Who, me? Yes. You're there. My, my love of my life is there. My ex. I'm not going to be there. Why? That way you can see how we relate to each other. I'm not. Nothing is going on. I'm not going to be there. I'm not going to be feeling You're comfortable. You're jealous. You get me? You're jealous, I'm not man. Be there. You're you know? not. You're by not pure. You're not thinking straight. I'm not going to be you there. Get paranoid. Yeah. <laughs> Prestige, ladies, yeah. prestige, serious I'm a very about jealous, it. I'm a very jealous individual when it come on to my other half. Hey. Yeah. Not going. No. And she begin to come. Me tell her. But what if, you, what, what if you go out? Yeah. You both of you go out together. I'm going to go in a nightclub time. and see me in a nightclub. Yes. And then come back to her and, and she goes, hi, wow, I'm a junior. Yeah. Uh, and you're standing, standing right there. It depends, and, and, and we might do if my ogre up and I go on and kind of wear the. I mean, I go with that. You know, walk walk yeah. away, or you're going to thump him down. Eh? <laughs> you're going to walk away, or you're going to thump him down. You're going to get a hopper cut. <laughs> <laughs> you're going to get a hopper cut. You come and hug up, hug up my wife in front of me and kind of wear Oh my God, Mr. Music has spoken. Yeah. What I need to say, that proves she mm. was never a friend, but a bottom feeder waiting to eat. Oh Lord have mercy. So you're not. Now my wife can go out and they are club and we, we are enjoying ourselves. And, and, and him come and hug up and a hug up hug up. Can't work. Can't work. Mm. So you go, you, you're gonna go home leave her at the club? No, can, me can not, leave her at the no club? my my wife come out, my, my wife I go back home. You don't see, but mm. we are gonna have a little talk about that. Mm. You know what I mean? I've taken the upper yeah. cut. I mean I mean the lengthy conversation. To make conversation in short. Then we analyze. You get me, I say? So you just get it right there in time. You analyze. Me and go club, you know. Or partying, you know. Tell a joker, tell a joker, you know. You just tell that joker, say, next time you see me, you're out. Don't come over and just interrupt anything. You know what I'm saying? But I think with the uppercut, you'd have gotten your message. I think with the uppercut, you'd have gotten your message. Mm. But I'm just imagining I'm out with the gentleman and a female comes over that knows him, his friend. Yes, his bestie, maybe, comes over and is there chit-chatting him out. Mm. 
for 50, not even five, five minutes so long. 50 minutes and counting and chatting and they're laughing and I'm so right there. So you're not going to open and say something, say, excuse me, You man. can't ask that. Eh? You don't know Cleo, man. You don't know Lady Cleo. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my, oh, my mind is running wild. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I would give it to him. Seriously. Give it to both of them. How dare you disregard? <laughs> oh, dear, you. How dare you disregard yeah, me right were, there? As yeah. if I'm invisible? Yeah. Don't do it. Not a nice thing. Can't be nice. So I guess partners need to know. You have to use wit. Yeah. And even if your partner knows that it's just your friend, you have to know how to conduct so as not to feed the natural mind with ideas that will make the, the man start to think differently or the woman start to think differently. A negative ideas. Yes, oh. definitely. All right, guys, and we are up on the 11 o'clock break. We close out at the Vox Pop. When we get back, we share some more with you. The time is brought to us by VJ Printing Services and, of course, our sponsors for Real Talk is Native Audio Stage and Lighting. Stick and stay. Architects, draftsmen and surveyors, get your drawings printed in high quality professional standards. We can satisfy your printing needs. Whether it is for presentation to your clients or for submitting building and subdivision application, make it VJ Printing Services. Whether drawing by hand or with computer aided softwares, we will plot your negatives and print the copies as you need. We do high quality white paper printing that is water resistant and never fades unlike traditional blueprint. For more information, call VJ Printing at Eight nine three two two six six. Clifford Guest House, sponsor of Metamorphosis on Monday nights from 9 p.m. to 12 midnight with Dr. Iman Black. Located at 15 Queen Street, Port Antonio, that's Ditchfield Hill, they offer accommodations for up to one month. Call them at 285-0610 for more information. For the best quality in sound reinforcement and backlining, Native Audio. We have professional engineers with over 20 years of experience. So call us and we'll take care of your parties, wedding receptions, barbecues, conferences and small stage shows. Crystal clear sound, Native Audio. Our prices are the best. Call us at 871-5212. That's 871-5212. Native Audio. We make your events audible. 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 This is Jati, the Reggae Ambassador. Join me this and every Saturday from 1 p.m. to 5 p.m. Right here in Styles FM 961, 965, 967 for the Tony Larvan Show. In style, on style. We're going to eat you off that G spot at 3 o'clock. We've got the Collector's Edition with Twin Spin. Inside Music Biz with Teddy Ledley. Nuff, nuff, niceness. Right here in Styles FM. This and every Saturday from 1 p.m. until 5 p.m. You got it? Really rich now. The other side. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, now offering stage, lighting and trust systems for your small and medium sized events, whether it's a stage show, concert, drama play, wedding, street party or club setting, you name it, we'll bring it to life. Call us at 871-5212 or 844-6531. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, a sponsor of In the Know of the Law with Sergeant Adele Rose Green and also Real Talk with Lady Cleo and Daddy Rude. Yes, welcome back guys to Real Talk. And of course, we want to say big ups to all our people, them out there who contributed to the Vox Pop idea tonight. All right, respect. We respect all your views, and of course, we thank you wholeheartedly for sharing with us every single time we call on you. All right, Vox Poppers out there, Styles Vox Poppers, thank you so much. All right, um, so we're going to look at our article tonight. That we, la we were on it last week, and of course, we have some more to share with you because this part of it is part two. Last week, we talked about... 
emotionally investing into somebody. A woman investing emotionally into a man or a man investing emotionally into a woman. And 13 things you must consider before you go all in. Before you throw in the towel and this, not, not even throw in the towel. Before you let loose rather and say, listen to me man, me I got all out of this. Me I feel the money. And me just want all of him. I just give me everything. And just throw it upon him with and without warning. And before him say, yo, that cat here have me weak in a star. I just give her everything. Give her all of my money. <laughs> <laughs> Prestige looks at me, me like, huh? Will you what call me name? About? Will you call me name? Because I wasn't going to say anything. I wasn't going to say anything until you call me name. You know? I mean, I just stay there with our pee pee clock clock. I just ignore me yard and mm. but I go home and just stay off your yard. Just stay there like how crab in a hole all the time. Just did it. Now I go nowhere. Oh, you get everything and the dance are nice. No? Hold on. But guess mm. what? 13 things to consider before going all in. There are people who just go all Rally in and not even think about these things first. Mm, oh. So last week, we looked at these 13 things to, to think of and mm. to consider before you give up everything, everything. to somebody we all just meet. All right, so we recap those quite quickly for you. And there are mistakes that many people make with someone new. And you must consider these things before you get in all in. One, remember... Um, are you ready for that? Two, are they ready for it? Yeah? Because you can't read and they're not ready. Three, are you compromising your own life for this person? Yeah? Assess that. Four, do they deserve your emotional investment? I guess somebody who really deserving of your time and energy. Eh? Are you going to waste your time with that fool? Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> are you riding the lost train? Will you really, really I feel my girl? Will you feel my youth? Lustful desires, just the gratification of sex? Or you really, really have your head scrolling and I think, say, this man is a father figure. This man is a respectable man. He's a respectful man. He's a man who motivates and encourages. He's conscious, vision oriented, you know? He has ambition. All these things. I just love the pleasure. When you put your song, set your song, set your song, back a broke off and all these things. Five. Are you, six rather, do you trust them? So you're with this woman and with this man. Hello. You can trust them. And not only trust them, they're not going to cheat, but trust them with your life. Yeah? Seven. Is your career or schooling still coming first? Cassidy laughing at me. <laughs> <laughs> Are you completely over your ex? Prestige, that's number eight. And I don't think Prestige is enough. Don't think he is. So nobody got to call the people, them girl, and you know, ready for her, you know, leave her alone. I oh, You took Cassidy. Nine. Are they showing <laughs> the same emotional investment <laughs> in you? You did they give all, all, all. The man show the same interest in you. Are you give the girl? She a give you everything. And him a give you everything. Lady, hello, sir. Do you give the woman all of your soul? You love her like wow. You give her all the best of you. Is she giving it back to you? Check out that. Yeah, are they showing the same thing? Ten, are you happy with your life as it is? Are you trying to change your life to suit the man? Or change it to suit the woman? Hello, be happy with your life. What to do if you're in too deep? So, this week, we're going to look upon what you have to do. If you find, say, cheese and peas, and when me reach as a star, and when me bank book empty out, and I him get everything, if you go buy a car, boots, name brand clothes, who me reach as a star? Oh, you mean the work when me put in? Who me reach as a star? The work when me put in. When him analyze and say, yo, star, the one room I'm start bill. Mm -hmm. When he says, I'm put on the next room on the bathroom, star. Mm -hmm. I'm still off here. Go to the door, go, 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 go use the bathroom or the kitchen. I will properly set up properly. Yo, I'm not here for day after 10 years, star. I'm reach you, some man. All the money you take and get the chick for the door here. And go, I'm going to go party, go floss. And every time she comes, she wants a new suit. 
it, it's a floss, a floss, a floss. So she want care for driving, you go buy a big car and can't maintain it and all these things. So home reach us all, yeah? What to do if you're in too deep? <laughs> Lord of mercy. Real talk. If you realize, if you just realized you're already way too emotionally invested in someone, don't worry. Here's what to do or what you can do to get back to yourself and pull back the reins with the new person. Go and see a shrink. Easy, easy. Reins. Hold that horse. Yeah. Shrink. She can help you. Hi. Boy. Shrink. Go take a horse. I want to probably not have. Well, let's see what they say about what to do if you're already in too deep with the new person. One, reevaluate how you feel. Take a break from your new person. No? Mm -hmm. Get alone and try to evaluate your true feelings. What do you feel? When me think about her, what comes to my mind? Anger, dismay, frustration, stress. But yo, when she put the nookie upon me, yo, star, the best feeling, you know. Evaluate how you really, really feel. Does he make you sick? And does your skin crawl? <laughs> As one of the texters said earlier. But why? Sex are the best thing. Yeah? Evaluate. Re-evaluate how you feel. Take a break and evaluate how you feel. If you have some time away... It will be easier for you to think clearly and gain the right perspective. Figure out if you are in too deep and pull back if you need to. This is... Because I, I think at some point you must realize, that, boy, no, man. Me and do all of this, and how mm -hmm. is it benefiting me? How, how am I, mm -hmm. you know, am I like I said, being we're, fulfilled? We're, we're, we're in it for far. Yes. yes. Yeah. Two, get in touch with friends. Them, Here we go again now with this friend thing. <laughs> your friends are always looking out for your best interest. Now, all of them love. Mm. Some of them are frenemies, so you have mm. to be careful. I, I know the difference too. Right. Get in touch with them and see what they think. <clears throat> Open up and ask for their support. What? They'll help you understand if you are too emotionally invested and if you need to separate yourself a bit. No, I won't go all together with this one. So much because you have some friends now who the man you're with, I even they kind of want. They will help you to get the man. Yes. Or to get the woman, or to take what they can take from it. Or to take a business out there. Right, the and have a discussion with you and right. chat to you, and then they come back and smile you. in your face. Right. Right. So you have to know and try to find somebody who is probably neutral, because your friend pretty much will be on your side. Mm -hmm. I might tell you what you want to hear. Mm -hmm. You know, so it depends. It depends on how old the friend is, and yeah, and probably sometimes it's best to get somebody who is a professional too. You might not be able to, like a pastor or so, get some advice. A who? A pastor. A gen you have genuine pastors, man. Mm. Genuine ones. You have some real, real pastors. Mm -hmm. Yeah, come real godly people. She can't come to me. <laughs> Praise Jesus. Yes, every time. Okay, so get in touch with friends and choose the right friends. All right. Three says, focus on your hobbies and your own life. If you still want to see that person, but you think you're too emotionally invested, just shift your focus. You can still have them in your life, but you can also still put emphasis on your own happiness, which is very, very important. Sometimes some people are not really happy, you know, mm -hmm. and they stick around just to make the other person happy, happy. and their life is miserable. miserable. You have to be careful. You're not going distant, you're not going to cut them off if you're really into the person. Mm -hmm. but, but take some time and look at yourself. Evaluate, am I happy without this woman? Am I happy without this man? Can I survive without this man? And if it is that you can, understand that you need to get happy with yourself first before you're trying to seek happiness from somebody else. Because right? if they don't bring it, you're going to be forever miserable. All right, so... Emphasize, emphasize on your own but, happiness. But, but, but or, or you um, really evaluate um, feelings. You mean? Yeah. Because if, 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 if you have that strong feelings for that person, mm -hmm. 
right? Mm-hmm. It, it just never just go away like that. No, it's not. That's what they you say. That's what they say. You must take some time and assess yeah. your own happiness. Because there are persons who they're happy mm-hmm. and somebody else comes along in their life and mm-hmm. it enhances that happiness. Mm-hmm. But without the person, if the person were to go, mm-hmm. yes, they'll feel hurt or feel the loss, but they can still function and be happy. There are people who can do that. And I think most of the men can do it. Because we just cut off and like there's so nothing we say to we, it. So we're good like that? We're oh, yeah. We're not oh, no, oh, no, oh, no, cold like that. Not yeah. good. Yeah. Cold like that. Yeah. The woman now, you have women who can cut off too. Yeah. But on average, cry and sob and broken hearted and feeling no, the no, pain no, bro- and the agony. Broken heart way. When I no get what I want, I no go gone, go, I go. <laughs> when I no time for bone, I worry myself really? like I have a broken heart. Not, not everybody. Eh? Some. Some. You get everything dry out the whole like man bank account and you oh, gone on and say no and you're your friend and say when I talk about it and I talk about it and then you come to me about I know, I know gold oh, digger she's the round here crying because her heart heart what? and I always say because she's cr- no gold she digger she cries because she's glad so she get everything and she feel digger. good for leave so out I'm hurt I'm going to be crying at the relationship I'm not going to go for me that's not for me well you put yourself in your category then right yeah Three. Don't fall in that one. Continuing on three. <laughs> Get back into your old hobbies and what you did before you met them. Not only is this better for you, but it will be better for the entire relationship if you choose to stay with them. Having your own life and interests only make you more appealing to someone. So if it is... Sup- mm-hmm. Suppose the old habit was... She used to run up and down with Tom Dick and Harry. Yes, and she meet this man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she meet this man and this we man alone. Well, you have to use an example there. Eh? So which one you want me to use? <laughs> yeah. You tell me which one you want me to use. Get back into yeah. your old hobbies. Yeah. And what you did before you met them. Mm. Now, some people had some life before. They used to do other activities to keep themselves occupied. Yeah. They cut it off because they met the person. Mm-hmm. And now that this person is responding this way, mm-hmm. you're thinking, oh my goodness, what do I do? Mm-hmm. Stay home and sub mm-hmm. all night and mope. But when you think about your old abbeys, you, 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 you're, you're confused. It can be mix, a mixture of good and, yeah. good and not so good. Yeah. <laughs> if, I did, if, if I know the good one, them, you're confused. Drop them. What you, do? You, you, shouldn't be, you shouldn't be confused because they're not good. You knew, you knew that they weren't good. So but you you, you, those. But, and find some newer ones mm, to pick up. Yeah? Yes. <laughs> All right. So, of course, there you have it's three major things, really. Mm. If you're in too deep, re- reevaluate how you feel about the person, mm-hmm. if you about the situation, yeah. what's going on in your mind, in your, in your head space. Um, figure out um, I, want, I want to be with this person I want to be with a lady here because sometimes we do yes. take stock taking yes. and ourselves and see yeah. yeah she want to be with me right okay yeah so re- reevaluate how you feel yeah. about the person towards the person mm. right um, and look at the good and the bad and evaluate how you yeah. feel about the person's good and yeah. the person's bad ways. Yeah, because she, she I look upon it and I say, you know, he's a very nice person, but I just don't want him to feel like I'm just a money grabber. <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so. Two, get in touch with friends. And we already discussed, depending on the kind of friend and the advice you're going to get. Mm. I have a friend who says, when there's something is going wrong in his life, yeah. something is happening, he doesn't want to talk to any friend because all the different friends have different views. Mm-hmm. And they all get confusing because Tom telling you this, Dick telling you that, and Harry telling you that. Mm-hmm. And of course, Dick will tell you a lot of things. Yes. Yeah, man. That Literally is Dick, speaking. That, that, is Dick <laughs> work, that is Dick work. Yeah, that's Dick's work. Yeah. All right? So get in touch with your friends. And three, focus on your hobbies and your own life a little bit. See if you can redirect to what you really love to do, what you've always been doing prior mm-hmm. to this person. I need to stay back on track with that. All right? It's perfectly okay to become emotionally invested with someone. You have to, in order, you have to, in order to build a healthy relationship. So it's perfectly okay to become 
emotionally invested with someone. If you're going to be with the person and it's not a friends with benefit kind of situation, yeah. then you will have to build some emotional connection. All right? So it's okay to build it, but you have to know when to build it, when to get in deep enough for it to become healthy or for it to remain healthy. And you have to know with who you're getting deep in. You have to... But there are times you need to step back and make sure you're not doing too much too soon. So, Prestige, I have a question for you. Mm -hmm. Have you ever been in the position where you have emotionally invested too quickly? You went all in too quickly. Not that I can think of. Really? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Like that, mm -mm. You never mm. see one catty yet. Mm. And start just relate to the catty. Mm. And something just go down. Mm -mm. One time something just go down. Mm -mm. You say, yo, star, mm -mm. I just feel like I'm just mm. in love with that chick here. No, sir, enough for me time and, and, I'll, and I'll know. <laughs> In a few time, I want to hold on, hold on, hold on. In a few time, how much time you talk about? And holy pa talking, me have to do all the time there. Holy pa talking. Like what? Holy pa, you stand up, holy, all two, three, four, one, talk. And nothing. You get me a say? What do you mean nothing? What do you want? Eh? What do you want for all that talking? What do you want? Some compensation? Tell us about it, Prestige. You wanted compensation for your standing two hours, three hours, and four hours talking? What did you want in return for that? Can you want to talk? I know, I know you want lyrics, girl. I know one night. Oh. I know one night, I talk about you know. So what did you want in return? Give us an idea of what you wanted if in it, return. If, 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 those times, if it could happen, I match of the show, you say nothing like that never happened to me like that, Pani, one night thing. Mm hmm Right? I put in a whole heap of talk before <laughs> something. A whole heap of days. Days? Not months? Or years? Then days not add up to months. <laughs> <laughs> How many months you talking yeah. about? Yeah. Prestige. Yeah. How many months you talking about? Tell me. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. so like come up in the years and now for my brain yeah, kind of frazzle. Me know, man. Me know. My brain kind of frazzle. So, Remember. Okay. So maybe it was yeah. the one nighter. No. But have you ever been in a position where you you got in too deep too quickly? Whether mm. whether a two months passed and you find yourself just. Yeah. Diving in and just always yeah. want to go there and yeah. you know, think straight, really. Yeah. So how did you come back out of the de the depth? Just like what the person said, you know, you reevaluate Ta yourself. Ta tell the people talking people something. Yeah. <laughs> they don't tell me tell 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 people something. <laughs> 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 they don't tell me tell you what you think. Say. No one know what yeah. you need to do, master. Uh, they know that me I tell you. I met me I tell you everything you said. What no, you want? No, my yo, stop <laughs> telling me about what the people are saying. Find the article, yeah, man. Just imagine that, you never hear this part. Well, just imagine you never, never read it, my yo. This is the thing. Yeah, what I may tell me show you now. May I tell you now, right? Mm -hmm. And you not gonna believe me, you know, no, because no, I tell you because you just read that a while ago. Yeah, you get me I say? Yes. Right? So no. he, uh, the same thing. They come home and I may sit down and talk and look with the article and say, I lie, I tell you nothing goes, I may tell you the truth. So me go sit here and say, what do you want me to tell you then? So right, sometimes it is sometimes it is sometimes it is good when we just tell you no lie. <laughs> I wanna just holy and feel say, well, it's the truth. Why is this one like my co-host Daddy Road? Jesus. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Yeah. So tell me, right. tell me what you do now. When you were when you were in two D, yeah. what did how did you come out? Me look into myself. Mm -hmm. You know what I say? And say if me really want to in this relationship. You get me and say? Yeah. Right? But what made because, you come to that point? Eh? What made you f you're inside because, the girl no. and you're in there you're, you're deep already and you said this is good you know me like that thing I like where I go on because she not stress me she not this she not me just like where I go on what made you stop and think say no no Sam I go down too deep you know that's something you know? because she was interested in someone else mm -hmm. right you know see I'm a squeeze you know? mm -hmm. right I'm no, squeeze no. in Craving your craving. Getting there, mm -hmm. The dancing and everything nice. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Because I'm a lover. Oh, so the thing said for the left there. Yeah. You get me, I say? Yes, so, sir. So and she just get attached to me on mm -hmm. that level, right? And I kind of realize that she kind of have that feeling that for that person there. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And them still attack, but them no really I do nothing still. Mm -hmm. So I kind of just 
reevaluate myself and right. just look into myself and say, you know, this seems like it's going to be a problem, you know. Mm-hmm. You know, see. Because we're not fulfilling, don't it? No. So Everyone you know always have I mean? a time when they yeah. reach a place where so they it, think. So this will be, this, this may be, would be a time with me and she, right, for a short moment because she still have interest in that person there, even though not never go on between them as yet. Mm-hmm. But she still have interest in him. So this could have just go on for a time, maybe for a time with me and him, mm-hmm. with me and her, I should say, mm-hmm. my mistake, right? And then... She just break up, but we just look back into myself. She never feel, you never, you never hurt, you never, you never broken. See, I'm not the type of person like that, you know. We just, we just what? We just, you just cool and heartless. Easy if problem. we just get hurt like that, so. You see, you men are cool. Yeah. Cassidy and all that, you know, daddy, you know, you know, just cold hearted. Yeah. You're I'm with not, the lady, you, know? you enjoy the fact that, yo, yeah, mommy, love what, what, what my experience with a yeah. girl here. But she have somebody from the side where I'm not really a guam, but I'm really into her. And then you decide to just draw it so I don't feel nothing for the chick. Because. No one but the chick. Remember now, you know, remember now. I don't right? get it. Back in those days, right? Back in those days. How yeah. in that? The 20s? Eh? How long ago? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> well, back in those days. All right, which, which means I got more skin. <laughs> see, we are telling about what I can eat. What I can eat? All right, sir. Yeah. You know what I mean? In the 80s. All right. Yeah. All yeah. right. In the 80s, man. When, you know, in the. You're young. Yeah. When. Yeah. <laughs> Be the young in the days. Eh. You know what I mean? <laughs> and your 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 coat and your your wallet for talking and all them things. Eh. You know, you realize nowadays the uh-huh. younger folks them they know the wallet for talking. Now start texting. Eh? And, and, and that video, and text. pictures and video messages yeah. and video calls and yeah. all these things. In a certain time for them just get close. Mm. Oh God! You get me? I say when all them time they back them days and we send up picture and the closeness gonna like yeah. gonna lead. Yeah, and we used to send up it so long and I sweat <laughs> night up and night to come up on that dark hill there. Uh, out there. <laughs> Where is it? Black hill. Eh? Where were you? We Black Hill? Man. I'm okay. going to that hill. <laughs> you, you know why? People out there are waiting for me to say which hill you know because yes, they want to hear my business. You get me? That same hill. And climb hill. up on that hill so, and they're up so, there. It was, and in, then the ma- it was and, in the dark. And, and, yeah, we have in the, and then all the mother say, the dark the mother, uh, uh, the mother all around me and say, I forgot my yard. You know, see? <laughs> you know, and I call him. I call her, her daughter name. You yes. Know? And come I say, inside. come inside the house. Uh-huh. You don't have your schoolwork to do. You get me? Uh-huh. And then we screech and go back up on the hill again out there. Hours <laughs> and hours and night. You get me? When time mommy and sleep there, we just come out. And not, and we just so talk wait. and talk and talk and talk. So what are you talking about? What are you talking about? Talk about whole, uh, the weather? One sports? Thing, you see, back in those days, eh? Cricket? Back in those days, right? Let mm-hmm. me tell you. If I kiss you, I go, if I you will get kissed from now till next year. <laughs> I <laughs> you, you feel good. You get me, I say? You come back with your pants front, wait and all the kind of stuff. <laughs> I'm mean, going to tell you. <laughs> no, sir. Gone is deep. <laughs> I'm from long-term prestige. I'm going deep. I tell you, boy. <laughs> I'm mean, going to tell you. I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you. I wonder if that is rude. Yeah. Can I test to just <laughs> being in the dark, just talking for hours uh, yeah. and coming back with pants front wet? I doubt that seriously. Yeah. I doubt you would have an experience of that nature. I am sure probably he'd be riding you. off a bicycle f- full speed days, ahead eh? because yeah. he'd have gotten some works. Yeah. He would have gotten to mash some works. Mm-hmm. If not, no, sir. You yeah. different. Woman, I will have, man. Woman, I will have him a time there. Mm. Yeah, you know them tell me them I will laugh and then they but and you're a gentleman in time for a long time. Yeah, you know them tell me you're not a force man for the things and mm. I'm like it's someone that do some things but nowadays and mm. then you don't have to force it. You know, you're not gonna do them things. You can things on your mind for the them things, you know what I mean? You feel good with a little kiss and your eyes you just gone up. <laughs> yeah. So when you come down of yeah. that hill yeah. in Port Antonio. Yeah. Apart from the pants from Did I say Port Antonio? Oh, that's hill. We have a yeah. caller on. <laughs> we have a caller on the four five three. Good night, caller. Yeah, good night. How are you, uh, sir? Yeah, not too bad. I'm calling from Ocho. Okay, yeah. Mr. Ocho, uh, reach Ocho. us. Yeah, man. No, I don't care. Well, I'm ninety six point seven. That's right, Stars FM. Yeah, so tell me tonight, have you had that experience that Prestige speaks of? 
Um, yes, I have a similar experience. Eh, eh. Prestige Bucket Awards. Tell us about sit it. Down, go there and, and sit down and wait. And, so by the time, if, if you do get a touch, why you better church the one they can <laughs> you never come again. <laughs> I thought you may never come again. <laughs> Everyone is trying to buy a to me. All right, we don't get a touch tonight. So tomorrow, the rest of us, some of the topic, uh, something like that. And, you know? Uh-huh. So it's very much. You have to tell her, get a kiss. And uh, one, you can wash all the face by the car. <laughs> you start to see it. Yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> you know where I go to. You know where I go to. <laughs> Advice a song like O'Neill. Oh, O'Neill. Oh, 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 when I get that one, I go one kiss. Oh, God, man. Eh. But for me, for me, you know, we used to go for the older, the, the more, you know, but older one girl, them. Mm-hmm. And they must tell you, oh, no, man. That's not. Well, what are we doing? I'm going to get a kiss for the jar. I kiss for the jar. I said, but I don't want that jar one. I jar one yesterday. I want the most one tonight. I want the most. The tip off, the tip off the most. You didn't want to talk to us. You had to kiss me a jump off. Oh my goodness gracious. Yes, sir. Don't worry, you think. Oh, call up. Yeah, man. I like the program. The program shut. All right, sir. Thank you so much. Just come off work. Just come off work and tune in and listen. All right. Program shut. shut. Real talk. Thanks so much. Keep it locked to stars, all right? Ever, ever since, ever since. All right, my dear. (laughs) <laughs> All right, yeah. so we are up on the 11.30 break. The time is brought to us by VJ Printing Services. And Styles FM, of course, Native Audio Stage and Lighting is a sponsor for Real Talk. Stick and stay. We go until 12. We soon come. Architects, draftsmen, and surveyors, get your drawings printed in high-quality professional standards. We can satisfy your printing needs. Whether it is for presentation to your clients or for submitting building and subdivision application, make it VJ Printing Services. Whether drawing by hand or with computer-aided softwares, we will plot your negatives and print the copies as you need. We do high-quality white paper printing that is water-resistant and never fades, unlike traditional blueprint. For more information, call VJ Printing at 8 Eight nine three two two six six. Guess what? Styles FM has a new business number for you to call, text, and now WhatsApp five one eight two three nine nine to advertise your business and events. Call, text, or WhatsApp us on five one eight two three nine nine five one eight. Don't forget 518-2399 For complete auto repairs and services Come to Aiken Auto Technology Located at 33 Bombo Crescent, Port Antonio, Jamaica We offer specialist services in wheel alignment and wheel balancing Brake drum and disc rotary servicing State of the art ultrasonic cleaning and testing of your fuel injectors We also stock an assorted range of auto service parts, tires, and motorcraft batteries. If we don't have it, we will source it for you. Call us at 876-715-5205 or email AconAutoTech16 at gmail.com. Acon Auto Technology, beyond the typical auto mechanic shop. The Entertainment Edge, on the cutting edge of entertainment, every Saturday at 12 noon on Smooth Sailing. If your program is not on the edge, then it's not on the cutting edge of entertainment. News, reviews, interviews, its songs, and so much more. The Entertainment Edge, telling you all about entertainment on Styles FM. With your host, Shelly Watson. Hey, it's Entertainment Edge, on the cutting edge of entertainment. 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 No space, the body where you are push it on me. You don't know this is Craig T. Now we're representing for the adrenaline rush with a musical ingenious digital T. Saturdays right here on Styles FM. You don't know. 48 to make it a date and don't be late. You understand? Because the new arts and new music segment is from 5 to 6. So make sure you're there and the girls there. I tell him I burn up the place. It's not left no space. Don't miss it. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, now offering stage, lighting, and trust systems for your small and medium-sized events. 
Whether it's a stage show, concert, drama play, wedding, street party, or club setting, you name it, we'll bring it to life. Call us at 871-5212 or 844-6531. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, a sponsor of In the Know of the Law with Sergeant Del Rose Green and also Real Talk with Lady Cleo and Daddy Rude. Welcome back to the final few minutes of the show. And of course, Prestige made me crack up just sharing, you know, his experience back in the day, as he would say, when you try to, you know, get through to a female. You know, we're talking about if you get getting in too deep and what to do when you figure that you're getting in too deep and so on. And of course, Prestige said back in those days, it was really hard for you to even get through, let alone <laughs> to get in too deep. Tigo says, me used to walk from Port Antonio to Snow Hill every Thursday night and sometimes not even a kiss. <laughs> Harvey in London says, prestige, real talk, boss. So, of course, Harvey, back in the days, had a similar experience, no doubt. Um, <clears throat> Gracie says, Yes, you did say Port Antonio. <laughs> I want Presti to know that the, the listeners are listening to him, especially the ladies, you know. Because that's what Grace, what else Gracie says, or oh, we got those already. Gracie says, yes, you did say Port Antonio. So Prestige need to understand that when I say the ill in Port Antonio, and then going to ask me if it's Port Antonio, if, if he had said Port Antonio, well, Gracie says, yes. And Gracie has it on a record that he said. Port Antonio. Right. All right. <clears throat> um, why she a call you at that time? Okay, since you, as you don't know, just say which ill. I know everybody know the ill them. <laughs> <laughs> so that's still around which ill. Okay, next um <laughs> message there. We got some more. Uh, mm -hmm. Did we get from? Okay. Hmm. All right, so Prestige. Mm. <laughs> I, I'd love to hear from Daddy Rude mm. to, to know if he had an experience where not never go on fame. And him just come down with all, probably a chops. And as a caller said from St. Anne, you know, he was saying, yo, we get chops from jail last night, man. Tonight, I don't know, chops from jail, I chops from mouth. Mm. And all these things. I wonder if you are Jackson. See, I'll, see, I'll tell you there, I, I tell you how much him... Yeah, man, he walk, walk from... Four off and snow, Imagine. and I don't know, know he's easy walk, you know? I show a can of easy walk. I know easy walk. So that enough, enough disappointment in get when I go back home even time, night time. And when you go down there, you, 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 you could I get can if you spend just five minutes? <laughs> you know, see? So what was so because special that, about... That, that they are come home from work at 10 o'clock. Oh, you know, want to see you? Okay, can't you can't see you, make you see and make you Oh. See ya. <laughs> no, mm -mm. Got my fair share of blue balls. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear me, think he didn't get any of those. I'm mm. probably, yeah, he got some of those. Um, Cassidy, you're a youngster compared to these gentlemen who are talking about back in the days. Now in the days, have you had those experiences? <laughs> Yeah. Back in the day too. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> when he was when he was inside, Cassidy uh, said yes. Okay, so he had the back in the day experiences. Yeah. yeah. Uh, how far did he walk though? Would he have walked from um and from Wayne Wayne Road, Road to Lighthouse? <laughs> A good walk, that you know. That is like walking from Snow Hill to <laughs> yeah. I, this, these stories are absolutely funny. Mm. Um, UL says, draw nil, enough time. So that means that you men will go through any, through and to any extreme to achieve that jackpot. Women. <laughs> Your weaknesses. <laughs> yeah. I don't think women can say that they walk from anywhere to anywhere. No, sir. Back in the days, did I walk from anywhere to anywhere? Absolutely not. <laughs> what? <laughs> eh, what the, the mawa, come in you? the days, did I get any blue anything or any purple or red? No. Eh. 
or white? Mm. No, not really. No. You're not getting no blue or nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just imagining yeah. you coming off that hill, yeah. that memorable hill, mm. um, <clears throat> all wet. So when you go home, what you do? Go bed or feel, something just to feel cool down? Feel you do? Feeling good. With my kiss. With your kiss? Yeah. Kiss no more? Yeah. These At youngsters that time. nowadays, these young men nowadays, you know in their 20s and 25 At that time. And, and 22, they're mm. not... They're not we, we uh we invite the caller to call right back, please. Um Prestige, our the little lane <clears throat> where mm. they have free school name. <laughs> I'm not even sure which lane that is. Which one I lane? Yeah, Alls Avenue. Free school. Yeah. Oh. Alls Avenue. Okay. Yeah. I don't know. The one that will take you up to the hospital. Okay. Yes, mm. that's the name of it, I think. Yeah. Yes. Mm. 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 Yeah, but free school then you walk on the road, they run to go. To the oh, back of the we have a caller on been, I think. the four five three. Good night, <clears throat> caller. <clears throat> Good night. How are you? I'm all right. Can I speak to Prestige a little bit, please? Yes, go right ahead. You're on air. <laughs> Prestige. Yes, sir. Good night to you. Good night to you, sir. You talk about, you talk about me. Me get worse a bit now that you know. How we are say? Hear me now. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, Springbank. Yeah. Well, all right. You walk from Manning Avenue on a smart, half smart road. Mm-hmm. Walk with the sister go peel. Me never, me never encounter no father and no mother business. Mm-hmm. Me never get nothing still. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Clear me not talk to you now. <laughs> so, hear me now. You see when me have come back murdering? Yeah. I get a piece of rain beaten. <laughs> rain wet you up. I mean, me say... You have to have my trousers front wet. <laughs> Who want me wet up? And not even a chips you're going to get? Not even that. <laughs> when I come down, the, when I come down after the spring bank, come off of the road and go up on the main road, and I shot cross on the road and go down the yard to get to the shelter of the rain and some dogs and not bother with that. <laughs> and I have to come out back and just kiss my teeth and be my wet and go on my yard. <laughs> wet up. <laughs> but them days are the nice, you know. Yeah. I like now. You yeah. could have go walk any other night, nobody not to be up. Oh. So, 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 eh? so tell me something to call out. If you had gotten something, would it have been worth it in the rain? <clears throat> no, if you get something, you're all right, man. <laughs> rain or no rain? <laughs> rain or no rain, you're Chris. <laughs> but back in the days, you know, food not just give up so easy, you know. So, you so, don't get food so did, easy. You, did you do, did you go with her more than one on more than one occasions? Well, yeah, after that, everything cool, you know. Oh, mm. everything cool after that. But that night, that night, I'll never forget till I die. Yeah. Oh my goodness! After weeks rain. upon weeks, everything oh, cool. Oh, dear man, rain nearly killed me, man. Me no mean, me no mean, drizzle, you know. Eh, uh-huh. big time drops. You know, my job will knock you out. <laughs> <laughs> and then me tell me when you go, you know, you're not sheltering no rain, you know. You're walking at the rain, see where you're going. The dogs give him a warm time to shelter. Yeah, yeah. man, the dogs, them say nobody come in China. <laughs> they run out. Uh, oh, my goodness. I'm not, I'm not pretty much. <laughs> About how many years ago that was, sir? Years ago, years ago. Me a old man now. Okay, sir. Years ago. <laughs> What if I years? Right, right. You know, what if I years? That I know. But to show you how it impacted you, you have not forgotten it. Beg your pardon? To show you how much it has impacted your life, you have not forgotten that day. No, I'm not forget. <laughs> it's, not, it's not day, you know. Night. Night, right, right. Yeah. All right. Mm. So. so. I'm here, I'm listening to Miss Daddy Road still. All right, he'll be back soon. <laughs> anyway, clear. Proceed. Yeah, yeah. I want to ask you something. Yeah. We listen to the program from the beginning. Why is it Miss Cleo have a question? I said, what, my coat house there? Eh? <laughs> I, saw, I saw she pressure me all the time, man. I not talk about. Yeah, man, I saw she pressure me all the time. Is that lucky thing? Say, my box broad. And the first part when she talked, we wouldn't tell Cleo nothing, no. Mm. Mm, too bilious, man. 
I saw she angry. If you are going out, I want to know where you are going to your lucky. That's why you have to tell them a lie. That's why you have to tell her a lie. You have to tell them a lie, man. <laughs> All right, yeah, sir. Yeah. <laughs> Enjoy. All right, bye-bye. Enjoy the rest of the yeah, night, sir. All yourself. right, thanks for keeping it locked. All righty. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, boy. Um, Daddy Root oh, says, no. Gully. It's called Gully? Is Gully. it Gully? Gully. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gully, right Gully, Gully. CC Bakery. Yeah, yeah, Gully. Them time that people say, I be a bad man around there. Yeah. Me never care. Me didn't love and want some. Mm. Never get none. <laughs> so you see, he would have risked his life with the mark herself. Because I'm sure he was skinnier back then. Mm. He would have risked his life just to go and get some. Because he did, did in love. Them and still never get none. Then my time, you know, when you, got, when you go up and go down at the lane, you know, and I come up back, you know. Yeah, see, uh, some man they pan corners there and they say, <laughs> my youth, we are doing this. Because then why you come in and look no <laughs> woman? <laughs> no. Oh, gosh. You know why you come look no man? The night me get the blue bars, me did have a condom for me. Oh, my. Well, and get vexed and throw the boots down the river. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Marcia in South Carolina. Good night to you, my darling. Larry in Connecticut. Prestigious. Stand up um, in an ant's nest. Oh, my goodness. Gracious. <laughs> yeah. And say, bite me up, Larry. <laughs> oh, my. Good night you to you, Marcia. go through some stuff. Yeah. Yeah. I wonder what the young men nowadays are going through. I don't think they're going through much, you know. No, man. they're not going through no. anything. Mm. As them say, who that? Snap, mm. snap. They, they probably is it, they, they 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 conquer. Woman, I look you know, man. Yeah. yeah. And oh I know, like one goodness. time we are, we are run up and down and I run Try up impress. behind a little a little fractile and you know see a little thing that we like her and you know and well, that'll, that'll buy we talk tricks. from now till all next year. You buy all you look you know give hey, and cargo oh, gear and then look with it yeah. and. <clears throat> She a go on like so she don't want it and all them kind of things. Eh? And boy, back in the days, you know, we are not about in the 80s, we are talking about. Mm. We are not talking about like in a, in, in, back in the 50s, because we are not reaching really back in the days, you get me? <laughs> in the 80s, you know, down in the 80s, you know. We are down in the 80s, 70s, 80s. Yeah, you know. <laughs> and then they could But the memories, they uh, live on. They may go leave. Them live on. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Their memories they live on. You know. I mean I walk from from Matthews Avenue. <laughs> got Janga Gully. I remember got Janga Gully. Mm -hmm. And eat at the house. That me and my virgin. Mm -hmm. I go go check two girls and eat at the house. And the father and the mother. <laughs> work uptown and them have a two big dog run at the back of the yard <laughs> and we ride the bicycle you know ride the bicycle uh -huh. and go up there one bicycle ride and we go up there and we put the bicycle on at the back of the house oh my goodness you know in at the house run at the back yeah that means uh, if you hear the car drive up in the yard we open the back right mm -hmm. and we go out Super but fun. we never realize there's a gully down there oh my and the dog them round here to again, you know. <laughs> and I say, yeah, the car drive up, you know. You <laughs> can see. I just when we do some boom and, and come out like we are go, it's a gully. <laughs> and the gully we hang up and we end up in our dog in our roof and we end up. <laughs> in our river we end up in the cassie. I know we don't get a kiss, you know. <laughs> we don't get a kiss and now. Much less a hug. <laughs> we are telling you, we come out, we wet. <laughs> say, say back in India, women. Like yeah. I know. This sounds like something that Daddy Rude. Back in the days, man. We are running up and down, man. <laughs> Behind woman, fractal and something, man. Just <laughs> I get nothing but wet up and drop down gully there. Mud up. Oh, my God. I mean, I tell you, any dog in rush, man. Too big dog, you know. <laughs> back in the days, man. Women. I'm taking you. I'm taking you. A real top man. Oh, 
Aretha. So, I was a comedian. You were, you were in Aretha. the house doing yeah. what? We just. <laughs> we, 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 uh, all right, we got to check these two girls, right? Yeah. We have a Hello, good night. On the four Hello, five three. Good night, yeah. caller. Yeah, yeah, I'm here again. I'm it. You know what I'm saying? You said, 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 you when you was growing on there and we call her one day and say, um, you know, say, say, I'm um, here, yeah, say, you know, say, me say, you know, say, come, yeah, come check me, come check me, man. And you know, say, me, you know, say, follow me, from wood, one night, both, both, five o'clock, nine <laughs> night, me, you know, that man, it's been a just, it's just, we have to just start to do the father care now. Mm. So anyway, I tell me one, you know, buy some gas and go for night and, it off, Nigel. My father didn't say me got Nigel without him care. <laughs> I didn't have a conference that changed from black to something else. But <laughs> if they were, that guy never knew what him, him, him passed off now, he didn't know. Oh, jeez. <laughs> and <sighs> go down there, left one guy and Nigel in the night, and he was about to poo, because I pushed it in. And I said, boy, I don't know, go down there early, you know, sir. Boy, you know? ก็ได้ตัวเมื่อเช้าเช้าเช้าเช้าเช้าเช้าเช้าเช้าเช้าเช้าเช้าเช้าเช้าเช้าเช้าเช้าเช้าเช้าเช้าเช้าเช้าเ
never give up sure for unsure. Because mm. me have my girlfriend and go invite new girl upon the base and I get nothing. You know how long me work upon the case? <laughs> and the next day, mommy, I come back. <laughs> the two weeks waste. Kiss me teeth. When me think about it, it look like me draw more nil than... <laughs> You like me show more nail than me kill. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> it's a nail draw. No, I wanted to ask you though, uh, what's the what Juliet? Juliet is cracking up completely. Gracie is also cracking up loud tonight, funny sir. <laughs> Prestige's story. So so prestige, the river one, you see when you're talking about the river. Mm. <clears throat> You didn't look no way? You look, look up no way? No, I'm, if you go down, I, I like mud, like, oh, you know? Oh, yeah. like, like a gully, like, yeah. like a gully. Oh. Yeah. So you're mud up? I tell you, I'm mud up, man. <laughs> mud up. up I, I, I end up in a river down there. It's a mud up. It's a lick. It's a lick. Because we have to lick up the bicycle, lick up the bicycle down there, you know? Because oh, we never know it's so steep and uh-huh. lick up the bicycle. So go soon, no? You get me? I say, oh and we just ask here, they're gonna like a movie. <laughs> I told it was a yeah. movie, a soap or something. Yeah. Soap opera, something. Hey. So when you know? Clear. <laughs> back in the days, may I tell you, right? We got back again in the days. <laughs> right? I believe up a party. Right? And come down a Janga Gully. Remember now, you know, them time the Janga Gully man, them. You can't grow in the Gully no man, you know? Uh-huh. Yeah. I had one girl around there, one nice girl around there. Mm-hmm. Then tell me I go to school. Right? I mean, go up on the corners. I mean, I walk with the sister. Right? But then you they were run on pan run, run a jungle gully at that time. Mm-hmm. One of them have a girlfriend live up a village. So they have to pass for me here or two. Right? So we go around there and I think them ago, you know, where, where. can I never really trouble me yet? You know? I don't know <clears throat> where the man them drink up or where the man them smoke up or where them <laughs> do. And them I pass about four of them. Mm-hmm. And my younger year when one of them say, I tell me and the girl are walking on a wall and you know. And we are talking. So me one of them say, um, don't make me see anytime I come off and run us, you know. I tell oh, me and me and my virgin go down there and mm-hmm. my virgin ride the bicycle and gun up on the road out there. Mm-hmm. I mean, you hear me say, don't make me say anything, I come back around here, I come back around here, you know. So, I never pay them no attention. And, you know, I look away there, I go. And the man, I come back, you know, start me a walk, you know. I'm going to hear, bloop, bloop, bloop. Mm. Some karate kick. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> kick with my hand, with me and the Jack hook, Lee. man. Kick me and keep me down and gong. What? I'm in this long. I'm going to say, blows and skirt. Goodness. And you say, yeah, you take this thing for joke thing. I did it and see long and my virgin come after her, them gone and come and say, and <coughs> Sorry. I say, I want to you, man. I said, boy, you know, so the man in pass you and kick me down. <laughs> I said, we don't have a car. I don't have a car. I will if I think we go to, oh, when, it come to when it come to women. Yes. Yeah, men. You know, see, we are running on fractal for some reason. Why I don't know where we are running on fractal. Going you get me? too deep, man. Too you know, deep see? in just for that one. And as I run on fractal back in the days, we were much younger. <laughs> <laughs> now, let's say next time you must scan your surroundings. The river one, where you go yeah. down the gully. Next time you scan your surroundings. Yeah. yeah. Scan, no, no, you can't scan so on night. <laughs> can't scan on night. Can't scan on night. Can't scan on Nowadays, it's modern. You have to get your night vision. Yeah. Your, yeah. Those, those glasses, those. Thing that you put yeah. on over your head yeah. and scan what's going on around you. We don't have no time to go to the scan. <laughs> I don't have a mission. No, remember, so they may tell me they may we're young and we don't have time because when we get the call, yes. we are move. We are move. Yeah, because we know the time, you know. Yes. You know what I say? And if, get and if I like we have a cell period. phone, you know, because we make the time there. Yes. Before we link up with the road, oh. coming from school, we make the time there. At that time, daddy reach home, that time, mommy reach home. Mm-hmm. So, them alone, I go to home. Yes, you have to do Mommy and daddy lock up the shop, the store before. Mm-hmm. And I come up and the vehicle pull up up in there. And we just reach in, you know. So the timing off, they, they came a little bit earlier than Funo. Right. Oh, early night. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then the From dog, the them now. The dog, them running now. Then let out the dog, them at night time. <laughs> you get me, I say? Yes. Then let the dog, them out at night time. <laughs> and stuff like that. 
So, so the only goal it was because the moment that it came or because the dogs chased. Because the dog, and we don't know where else to go. Oh. Cause we can't go up on the front. <laughs> So we have to go to that's why we put the bicycle in the house and put it at the back. The, uh, the, ba- the back door around me. there. Lord. You know what I mean? Oh Jesus. So when she woke up the door, she woke up the door so we come out. <laughs> the dog then rush me. So we have to throw a bicycle along and just go along the gully same way. <laughs> My night is well spent listening to you guys. No love, but brother prestige. Have you ever had to hide in a cemetery from a father? <laughs> 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 Please, I think that one was Fitzroy's experience. Them oh ta- my goodness! Them time, if you are going to the cemetery, you're, you're, you're not going to remember you're, you're about as well dead. You're, you're, you're just yeah. as good as dead, right? You're not going to think about them kind of something because you don't want the father catch you. Because you know what the father going to do to you. Yes, so you're going to mother. think about something in the cemetery. Not even the mother. You know? And then the career. Oh then. my goodness! Yeah. I would love to see. I'd have loved to see Fitzroy hiding in that cemetery hmm. um, from daddy. <laughs> Next time I see him, I'm going to have to ask him to share that story with me about the cemetery and mm. how he, where he hid, mm. how small he had to yeah. curl himself up and all of that. L- listen up. <laughs> Let me give the people them my next story before. We go, you know? yes? Yeah, a next story. <laughs> it's not about girl. Okay, then. This is about a mango tree. Mm-hmm. No. Put it like this. So we give this one. It is an apple tree. You know the small apple. They call it titi. What titi? No, no. They look a small apple, them man. Which one? Yeah, some small apple. Mm-hmm. Right? It's only certain yard uh, uh, in a, in a Portland. They, they, they just beer. You know, find them oh, all okay. over. Yeah, special apple tree. But the, the apple tree no no beer bigger. Okay. Yeah. Right. But you can climb it. But it's not. Big like the, 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 the next app, right? Mm-hmm. And you have this man who is still on the veranda. I don't call him, but he's still on the veranda every night. I'm watching Apple, a special Apple. Yes. Right? And it, it, in a few era, and up our hill. Oh, and Lord. The man one more hill, And the man sit on the veranda, right? Mm-hmm. Always have a machine and sit on the veranda. So we climb, but well, we don't know, we are, we are timing, you know, at night time, fish say when he's going, you know. And the man sung on the van is singing, you know, so we would go up in the apple tree. <laughs> we'd, we'd take off the clothes naked. Oh, Jesus. And go up in the apple tree. Oh, Lord. And tie on the plastic bag and hide the plastic bag. <laughs> you know, make nice. And tie on run away, you know. <laughs> and go up in the tree, you know, so we up in the tree, you know. And then now we are where next door and live. In our car, you know, live next door. But, right? And it will be up in the tree, you know. After we up in the tree, you know. Young here, cock up. And the limb broke. And in drop. You see, in drop because I clear, you know. Down there, clear. And rain and fall the night, you know. And when he drop, you know, he just slide go right down and he step, you know, with the man there, you know. And with the man, holy you see. And call out him by the name. Like when I say, Miss Smith, you see it? Are you boy? Are the teeth me up all the time? You see it? Eh? That was in the night? In the night at that time. Oh my God. Me just go and I need the back and bottom of the house, you know. And just take up my clothes and put on my clothes and just zoop. And just left him and gone. You see, by the time he reached down, I don't know how message reached down to my mother. <laughs> and no phone them time and never there for the house. I open the next house. But when he reached oh down, I go here, go bed. Go on, go bed. And I got out there, see, I got inside. <laughs> and I bed. You see, when I bed, uh-huh. for my mother come in, you see, man, <laughs> and son, lick me get. And I need that pipe there. I had, the people, them I had that one, the bathing one, yeah. and coming to the bathroom, pan you with the so soap lick. and everything. And so when me get serious belting, go on this stuff. I don't, up until this, I'm more often know how message reach down a your yard. You live up, down a bottom, and the people that live up at top, and then like, can call out loud <laughs> and say, Well, such and such. But the message reach down there before you reach at the yard. Gracious. How that work? I don't know, man. I don't know. Bad news travels very fast. Mm. Prestige, if women only knew the torture, shit my head. You will. <laughs> mm. I will put up my go to you will. We yeah. will. Prestige. Nala mm. says, Prestige, I would listen to you all night with your stories. Can I tell you? <laughs> Nyla E could write a storybook. I tell you. Gracie says, um, with Melissa in mm. Pear Tree River says, Prestige man. They beat you up for the woman, for the woman. <laughs> so prestige, the beating did worth it. <laughs> mm. I know, I know, I know for the woman. 
<laughs> them oh living in the era, but they don't want nobody to come around to come come look. No woman in the era, and the woman them not in them because they are more a ragamuffin them. <laughs> mm-hmm. You get me? Oh boy. Yeah, but Dr- them they're on there. A, 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 <laughs> a, a different some woman from the era where they really want them. Mm. Yeah. Gracie says, I always wondered that too. P. Hmm. hmm. All story right. they have to talking about the time is <laughs> about you know what I mean the time is not permitted I tell right you, now we forgot about story night evening story they have to talk man. oh my goodness yeah man story they have to talk <laughs> yeah what a story yeah climb People? mango climb mango tree up in a mango tree and the man I come can you use the sweep road and the man I come up and we open a mango tree the black mango tree can the mango they are special mango they are them time there yes. and we open a mango tree I want pit dig Jesus have mercy full of water and when we up in a tree, the neck back the man come in the flashlight and can I hear the little rattling and we mm-hmm. just hook on pan the tree. So uh, every time we climb mango tree, we climb and naked look and we don't want the man see now we close, you get me? <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> we hook on the dark, you know, and breeze a blue. And we hook on and him, when the man come and he pint up the light up in there and he look, yeah, and he say, Oh, that look like Miss So and So Boy. Mm-hmm. Yeah? Oh, so he might have been bashing to that <laughs> we can't do so we said to we pray just say slide on like you come off man you slide on you get me and me will come off me will come off after you slide on so when me tell you slide on and he must slide on me just jump off and when me jump off now he go jump to and jump in the pit oh my full of water oh my goodness you get me i say you see when that man oh. stand up over the pit man and God. call out him man over there <laughs> <laughs> Pips, good night. Yes. Story time done. No guy, no beg, go lie down and sleep. It's I can tell you, <laughs> prestige. There were secret phones around yeah. in those days. Yeah. Uh, that's what Melissa is saying. Yes, yeah. secret phones were around back then. Most oh telegram. My goodness. I tell you, telegram, more telegram. Can I tell you? So of course we've been talking about when you're in too, if you're getting too mm. deep, mm. and how you can get yourself back on track if you. I've gone in too deep, mm-hmm. gone, given all in. But of course, these gentlemen have mm-hmm. been giving their all in <laughs> to get what they want from way back when. All right? So, and for some it worked. For some, it was a sheer great memories that they have to share with us tonight. <laughs> Thanks to all the persons who text in, those who called in, those who shared their stories. Thank you so very much for making another gre- real talk. I'm making another night of real talk wonderful all right thanks to prestige my co-host who held it down in daddy Rhodes' absence of course thanks also to shelly and her um guests who were here um one week um next week we have another great show lined up for you a very interesting one parents tune in next week because this one coming up will be very very interesting for you as parents very, very important as it relates to your children. So we hope to do it all again for you next week, God's willing.